All right, Johnny, I'm going to cut you down. I'm going to go live here in a minute. What kind of fitness fits you? Weight training? Sure. State-of-the-art machines? Of course. But Kennedy Club Fitness offers more, like group programs, aquatics, racquetball, personal trainers, even a kid's club. Kennedy Club Fitness fits the fitness goals of more than 17,000 members in Paso Robles, Atascadero, San Luis Obispo, and Arroyo Grande. So no matter what fitness fits you, Kennedy Club Fitness can help you make it happen. And membership provides access to all facilities in all cities, plus members-only events, specials, and discounts. Kennedy Club Fitness in Arroyo Grande, San Luis Obispo, Atascadero, and at 500 South River Road in Paso Robles. Find out more at KennedyClubs.com. What kind of fitness fits you? Kennedy Club Fitness, proud sponsor of sports broadcasts on the VOP, the voice of Paso. The VOP Sports Network is on the air, bringing you live coverage of Paso Robles High School Bearcat football. Bearcat football is brought to you by KG Communications, where their communication services are your best call. Cold Stone Creamery, the finest premium ice cream and no screaming necessary. Solar Ponics, solar installations since 1975. They don't deliver just solar, they deliver boom. Mistura, fine Peruvian cuisine. Taste Peru, taste Mistura. Ron Mullins, Berkshire Hathaway Realty. When it comes to real estate, He's good to know. Fluid Screen Printing, where they make your business pop. Rob's CPR, because someday you could be the person who saves a life. On Bar for fine dining. Come in as guests, leave as family. Paso Magazine, their name says it all. Kennedy Club Fitness, multiple fitness programs make it easier to make your fitness goal. Nino's Grill, delicious barbecue and all-American favorites in Templeton, California. Paso Robles Country Disposal, where sustainability and safety are paramount. PasoRobles.DailyNews.com. If it's local, it's on PasoRobles.DailyNews.com. Joe's Place. Look for the big gorilla on the sign. H&R Block. File taxes your way. Vision Mortgage, the place to go when you want to buy a home with a low down payment. The Crimson Q Sports and Billiards Club in Paso Robles, where good times click. Central Coast Concrete Cutting, your go-to concrete contractor. Stay tuned now for exciting Bearcat football action as the voice of Paso takes you into the broadcast booth and onto the field on the VOP Sports Network. And a pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Fluid Screen Printing pregame show. Jim Weeman, along with Bill Stansberry, my loyal partner up in the booth for now. Well, we're going on, what, eight, nine, ten years? Yeah, we're getting up there. How, how long you put up with me this long? And uh, <laughs> I don't know how you do it sometimes. And Johnny Doss down on the sidelines. Uh, cover tonight. John, how you doing? Doing well. I think you guys are uh, by uh, Sportscaster World. I think you're both married now. <laughs> <laughs> Gee. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Uh, Tim Stewart's going to be going up and down with the chain gang tonight, so he might chirp in as well uh, once he gets down outside those 20s so they don't think he's spying. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We'd hate to have Tim arrested for being a spy and sent to North Korea or something. Yes. Hey, uh, guys, before we uh, kick off this uh, pregame show here tonight, uh, on August 17th, uh, Rich Benitez was rushed to the ER where – we learned that he had the stage four cancer. Within three days, he had emergency trachea, a feeding tube placed in, and, uh, and he was told that he only has 45 days to live. So the family is looking for help. So uh, well, we're gonna give you a 
GoFund page here and a web address. It's www.gofundme.com funds for caregiver for uh, Rich Benita. A big Bearcat fan. He's going to be listening, and we'll repeat this throughout tonight, Coach. And we're all big one family in Bearcat land, and uh, we like to take care of our own, don't we? Yes, we do. And, uh, Rich, if you're listening, uh, we're all pulling for you there, and I wish you all the, you and your family the best. Uh, and as we were saying earlier on the uh, show this from uh, – Jeffries today. There's nobody in the, that's done more for this community than Rich Benitez, be it Kiwanis Club, uh, the Cinco de Mayo scholarships, uh, being involved with the retired teachers, uh, all the stuff he's done for the school district. Uh, just somebody that has really helped make Paso what it is. So all our prayers out. And uh, John, in the same way, being from Atascadero, North County, one big happy family, aren't we? Well, Johnny's busy because, you know what, Coach, it's youth football league night down there right now. And as you can see, if you're watching on the live stream on the simulcast, a lot of youngsters playing for the Bearcat program this year. There are hundreds of kids down there. And I'll tell you one thing that's really heartwarming for me to see. I see a number of former Bearcat players down there. I'm looking at Keith Williams down there. And then I see George Freitas down there on the field. Uh, uh, third generation of uh, Freitas family down there, and I believe I see Henry Valau down there. So, yeah. Uh, a lot Adrian of Pettywell's down here, yes. Vince Freitas. Yeah, got, got them all. You got a whole bunch, Coach. John, you better watch out. You might get blind blitzed by uh, uh, side bl blitz there by some of those young Bearcats. Yeah, I, I stayed a far, far away from the young Bearcats. <laughs> Hundreds of them. Hundreds yes. of them. All right, Johnny, we'll come back to you in a little bit. Coach hey, and I are going to talk about You got anything you want to add? Don't forget, they are playing at home. All the Bearcat teams tomorrow from the Bantams, juniors, intermediate, seniors, they're playing at the high school on the practice field tomorrow starting at 9 in the morning. Tough place to watch a football game out. Not a real high, but, you know, good luck. They're not at War Memorial, so they're at the practice field at the high school. Thank you, John. Welcome, sir. That's why you're the best in the biz. Uh, you, don't look like, you don't look like Andrea down there, but... <laughs> We still love you, big guy. He just he, he got quiet, Coach. All right, tonight we got Bearcat football. Bearcats taking on the Central High School Grizzlies, the number one seeded team in Division One right now, rated number one in the Central section. And Coach, uh, we were sitting here watching them in the warmups. Um, <laughs> they're a high school team, but they kind of look like a college team with all that size and speed out there. They do have some rather really large individuals, and, and not only their uh, linemen are big, but we commented that their kicker is 5'11 and weighs 220 pounds, which you don't normally see. Normally the kicker is the smallest guy out there. So, yeah, we'll go over that in a few minutes. They do have some really good size, and they have some talented individuals. They have got off to a fast start. Everybody expected that. Uh, let's talk about their first three games. Okay, so Buchanan opened up their season, and uh, they uh, have just, or excuse me, um, <laughs> Buchanan. They are going to play Buchanan for their league championship. But uh, these guys, the Grizzlies uh, from Central, opened up with, with big wins. They, they have really blown out the competition. Uh they have uh, averaged 49 points a game, and they have given up nine points a game. So they, they've gotten out of the gate fast, uh, and they start fast. Uh, they like to throw the ball. And a little bit about their school. This is an old school, Jim. This was founded in 1922. Now they have two campuses, an east and a west campus. They have 4,200 kids uh, on the campus, uh, they uh, offer some very nice things over there. Their music program is second to none. They had a wind ensemble, uh, woodwind ensemble, go to Carnegie Hall last year and take first place in a national contest. They've had some great athletes, uh, Carter Hartwig, NFL player, graduate 75, Tim, Tom Goodwin, Major League Baseball in 1986, and Marcus Walden, Major League B Baseball 2006. Their head coach is Kyle Biggs. He was their coach last year. They are the defending CIF Central Section Champions, Jim. Uh, they have 11 coaches on their staff and a strength and conditioning coach. So 
It's, it's very much of a uh, well-organized college-style program that they've got. They have 50 athletes listed on their roster. And, Jim, you talked about big. You want to talk about big? We'll talk about big. Uh, number 99, Ricky Correa, is uh, 6'4", 330. Number 92, Javon Oliver, senior, 6'2", 260. Zach Rivera, number 78, is 5'11", 330 pounds. Yes, 330. Mike Gonzalez, senior uh, offensive lineman, 6'3", 260. Dwight Big Man Tatum, 6'3", 350. Yes, wow. 350. Lamont Lane, little guy, 6'1", 250. Then they have uh, Duante Nana Laula, and he's a sophomore, 6 feet, 270. Corey Jackson, number 51, 6'3", 250. Uh, Cameron Vaughn, 6'2", 240. And the guy that looks good in the uniform to me is Chris Mohanan, their defensive lineman at 6'2", 225. So they do have some size, but Jimmy... The thing that makes this team go is number 18, Trent Tompkins, who was their starter last year. And if anybody had an opportunity to see their game against Buchanan last year, there was a, they were down they were down with 30 seconds to go, third and 30, Jimmy, third and 30, and down by six. Third and 30, the game's over, isn't it? No. This guy gets blitzed, he escapes, throws a 20-yard completion. They've got a fourth and 10. He scrambles, gets it off. They make 11 yards, and on the next play with five seconds to go, throws a skinny post for a touchdown. So this is the kid to watch. Uh, he is 55 out of 91, 60% passing. They, they average 17.4 yards per reception. Now let me put that on the other side. When the Bearcats throw, they're averaging about nine yards per reception. So these guys throw the ball down the field, catch it, and make yards. So... The Bearcats secondary's got something to really, really concentrate on. They've they they've thrown for 956 yards and 14 touchdowns in three games, and that's against some good quality teams. They went up and beat Grant up in Sacramento, 52 to 10. They beat Mount Whitney, I believe that score was 49 to 10. They beat Edison 35 to 7 in the first game of the year. A couple other guys to watch: Conley's their leading rusher, 31 carries, 234 yards, 7.5 yards per carry. Followed by Maxwell, 14 carries, 105 yards, 7.5 yards. The guy that does the damage catching the ball is Hunter, number three, wide receiver, 17 catches, 239 yards, averages 14 yards per catch, and Jimmy in three games, seven touchdowns. Defensively, this guy stood out when I watched him, and he is not, you know, we talked about all these giants. This guy's not big. Number 32, Dominic Mendez, outside linebacker, 5'9", 180 pounds, in three games, 30 tackles, four and a half sacks. And he does this coming off the edge. They've only punted three times, and as I said, their kicker's a big guy, Aquavis, yeah. and he's 18 out of 18 on... Uh, yeah, what, their punters th average, th what, 36 a 30, punt? 36 yeah, yeah, yeah. a punt. And only, so, three, only three punts, three punts in, in three games. Three games, right, so... Let's just say they, a punt is a rare thing for them. I mean, they're built. They're built to win. They're all around good, and, you know, they got the offense, they got the defense, and they really, they come out early and they punch you in the mouth and put you down, and what that does is put, you know, their, their, their opposing team's offenses in a pickle, and what they do, the offenses have to force things, and that's when they get their turnovers, and, yeah, that's true. And now the Bearcats have been a tale of two teams, really. Uh, they're on the road. It hasn't been good. Uh, very slow starting on the road. At home, uh, the last home game with a victory over uh, Frontier, kids look really good. Uh, last week, a little flat coming out of the gate. So I, I think that the home field advantage I'm going to put 14 points in the Bearcats category for the home field advantage. And and it is imperative if we can go right to keys to victory, Jimmy, that the Bearcats, the Bearcats avoid the FIPS. And JR talked about this the other night. Fumbles, interceptions, penalties, stupid plays. Interceptions have been a bugaboo. They're averaging two interceptions a game. 
can't turn the ball over against these guys. When you got a team that's averaging over 500 yards per game in offense, they're, they've got to be running a lot of plays very quickly. In a high school game with only 12-minute quarters, 500 yards in a, in a college game is a heck of a lot of yards. In a high school game, that, that's amazing to me. So the, the, the plan for the Bearcats is get the ball, don't turn it over, hog it, win time of possession, and win, win, win special teams. Good punting, good kickoff coverage, good kickoff returns. Don't let the ball, the ball bounce should there be a punt and and score on special teams. Make that a priority. Yeah, and, Because we're averaging, Jim, I'm looking at this, we're averaging um, 142 yards a game uh, receiving and 128 uh, passing. So... We're at about 260 yards, and they're at almost twice. They're twice as much. So we've really got to slow this thing down. The and, tempo and when the it game. comes down to you know tough 17 to 10 loss for the Bearcats last week, it, you know it was mistakes. You got you know, turnovers, penalties, uh, it, everything that could wrong, go wrong went wrong. Uh, then uh, our deep ball this year has not been something that has been satisfactory. You know, we've had what three interception on deep balls this season so far, I believe. Yeah, balls that balls that have been slightly underthrown, and and you know, you, you've, we've got a young team, Jim, and and the quarterbacks have got to get used to putting the ball out in front. And I'll go back to this: never throw a short pass long or a long pass short. Those are interceptions waiting to happen. So, clean up the interceptions. Play hard. Play fast. Play smart. You look at the Bearcats offensively. Uh, Garcia is supposed to be back, feeling better. He was battling the flu bug last week. Played limited. Uh, Magnolia will be back. Magnolia. Magnolia. Magnolia will be back in the backfield. So you know you got a little bit of that. And then you look to the outside to your receivers. You know you got Wiesner who can catch the ball. Gallant, Gallant. Who can, can catch the ball. And you know Marshall. Levi Marshall's been stepping up as late. So you know come out and uh, you know. Get a drive together. That's the main thing. Get a little mojo, a little momentum going. Yeah, Magalona is going to be a real key guy here. He's the leading uh, carrier for the Bearcats, 43 yards, 43 carries, 196 yards. Garcia, 23 carries, 132 yards. So, to me, that's that's where you want to make the game. You want to grind the ball and then and then do do what Waterman does well, and that's throw the ball short to. Uh, Wiesner and uh, Gallant, and let them take care of the football and move the ball up the field. Uh, and uh, let's have a great game here tonight. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny you got your ears on down there. I just noticed that you see who John was talking to? He was talking to the young man in a white cap. Uh, yeah, Bobby Kennedy. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, as long as we're talking about the officials here, yeah. we got the A team, Bobby Kennedy and Mike Ostini, the two deans of Central Coast officiating. Uh, David Andrade will be the linesman. The line judge will be Digger Hill, and Randy Mayab, who is <laughs> who was a uh, camper when Dewey used to do uh, baseball camps over in the Central Valley like 30 years ago, is the back judge tonight. Yeah, I was having a conversation with Bobby. Uh, I know Bobby from down in Santa Maria, and he's actually good friends of one of our producers, Walt Van Zant. So I was just saying hello and uh, reminding him to have a good game. Bobby will tell you he always has a good game. Yeah, well, that's exactly what he said, Coach. Yeah, really, you asked him, hey. I'm just reminding you to have a good game. You're all right, yep, Doss. That's all. I do what I can. I, I don't care what they say about you. All right, we'll be coming back down to you when you're with JR and ready to roll. And I know you're going to have fun with that tonight, aren't you? Absolutely. Okay, there we go. All right, let's take a break. We'll continue the Fluid Screen Printing pregame show here on the VOP Sports Network right after these. Screen Printing knows the importance of first impressions. Your logo on shirts, caps, jackets, and more tells the world your business has arrived. Fluid Screen Printing makes VOP swag pop. Let Fluid Screen Printing assure the first time people see your business name is a memorable occasion. Fluid Screen Printing, call 805-610-5778 or find them on Facebook. Fluid Screen Printing.
The Passerables Daily News is Passerables' most comprehensive newspaper and the home of the Passerables Bearcats, featuring breaking sports news, events, politics, wine, and more from writers and photographers, newspapers, TV, radio, and online media covering Passerables, Atascadero, Templeton, San Miguel, Shandon, Creston, and Heritage Ranch. If it's local, it's on Passerables Daily News. Check it out today, PasserablesDailyNews.com. Ron Mullen says, welcome to the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Real Estate Network. Ron is an agent representing one of the most dynamic real estate brands in the country, where you can expect the utmost professionalism and dedication to all of your real estate needs. From your very first meeting to the final closing, Ron provides best-in-class service to help you buy or sell a home. Equipped with the finest tools and technology, he will guide you through the real estate transaction every step of the way. Buying or selling, when you need professional guidance and support in your real estate transaction, call Ron Mullins. Ron Mullins, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, 11th and Park in Paso Robles. Call 237-4700. That's 237-4700. Best in class service, professional guidance, and the finest tools and technology in the real estate business. Ron Mullins and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. When it comes to real estate, they're good to know. All right, welcome back to the Fluid Screen Printing uh, pregame show. We're going to wrap things up here real quickly before we are introducing the players. National Anthem was just played. And, Coach, we can light the candle and have a little fun once again on a Friday night, huh? There's Trina. Taylor yeah, Trina. yeah, they're getting ready for the 50-50. 50-50, there you go. Always got to be ready for that. All right, Coach, other action. Let's run down it real quickly tonight. A Royal Grandy at Lompoc, both teams 2-1. and one. Big game. Big game on the Central Coast. I like Lompoc. It's at Lompoc. Oh, well, well, we got it now. Well, John's going to talk to Coach Reynolds right now, so let's go down to that. All right, we got Coach J.R. Reynolds here. Coach, what are we looking for the Bearcats tonight to do? Uh, look, looking forward to uh, battling it out with a quality opponent. You know, hopefully we can control the ball and, and uh, keep their good offense off the field and, you know, play hard-nosed Bearcat football. I mean, that's, that's what we're looking for. All right, you got anything else to share with us? Yeah, uh, go ahead and check out tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. It's Tim Stewart's Green Thumb Show. Great show. Uh, I think he's got Dewey Stroud on tomorrow morning. Should be a great show, so check that out. All right, you heard Coach JR right there. Back to you, boys. Thank you, sir. Coach, I'll fill you in later. <laughs> I didn't know Tim Stewart could get out of bed early. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that, John? Thumbs up? Yeah. T Timmy has a little problem getting out of bed early in the morning. Uh, okay, other action. Uh, we'll do this real quickly. Rigetti at Centennial Bakersfield. Uh, you know, I think Rigetti goes to 4-0. Well, this is Rigetti's first big test. Uh, Centennial's 3-0, so we'll see. St. Joe at Bakersfield Christian. The Knights 3-0, Bakersfield Christian 1-2. St. Joe big. Frontier, interesting contest here at Memorial Stadium, taking on the Greyhounds. Real, real measuring stick, huh, Jim? Yeah. Because we're going to see. Yeah, I so mean, we beat Frontier 17-14. So yeah. let's see how the Hound Doggies fare against uh, the same competition that we played. Napomo travels to Bishop Diego. The Titans 3-0. I uh, I like the Titans. I think they're they're they've got it rolling down there. San Luis at San Ynez, both teams 2-1. and one. That's an interesting matchup. Well, you got a team that's on the rise in San Luis and a team that's been good for the last several years in San Ynez. I believe the game's at San Ynez, so I like San Ynez because San Ynez plays tough defense. Other action, Templeton will be at Santa Paula. Eagles 1-1. One one. Big test, big test for them. I believe Santa Paula's undefeated, so... The Eagles have their work cut out for them down there with Santa Paula. Santa Maria will be at Golden Valley. That's that's a tale of two cities there, boy. They're going in the uh, they're going in the wrong direction. Both of them. You got one and two and zero oh and three. I think there. Uh, Golden Valley maybe in a in a squeaker just since it's all the way down there in the Santa Clarita Valley. Slow man uh, from Royal Grandy, Mike Addy, wanted, uh, oh, I got to call him Slow Man. He wanted to say hello to everybody. So he's going to be keeping us updated on that AG line. And we game. really, really appreciate yeah. that. And uh, Cabrillo at Pioneer Valley, 03 and 0 and 2, and Gustine at Morro Bay, uh, Morro Bay 0 and 3. Those are going to be, yeah. yeah. I think Cabrillo's going to come away with their first win of the season in that one. And no. like you said, when's the last time we said Cabrillo was going to win a football game? I, I can't remember. It's unfortunate. Same thing with Morro Bay. Last couple of years have really been difficult for them. All right. 
Both teams now have been introduced. Coach, so before they do the coin flip, we welcome you to Bearcat Football Live right here on the BOP Sports Network from War Memorial Stadium, the Central Grizzlies against the Paso Robles Bearcat. Kickoff just moments away, Jim Weeman, along with Bill Stansberry, we got Johnny Doss on the sidelines, we got Tim Stewart somewhere over there, he's a cowboy, we never know where to find him, and uh, Dave Lambert upstairs taking care of the live stream duty. So we got the crew all on hand. Hey, Jim. Yeah. I'm over here. Oh, hey, Tim. Say <laughs> hello to Tim, coach. Hi, Tim. I see you way down there on the side. This, yeah. uh, who we got on the chain gang tonight, Tim? We have Chris Montero, Vance Mankey, a former Bearcat player, and Greg Shipley and myself tonight. Okay, got a good group there, a mix yeah. of the young and old. Well, if we can get Greg moving, we'll be all right. Hey, uh, Tim. Hey. You sound pretty good down there, buddy. Hey, listen. These guys are big. <laughs> I'm, tell, just, I'm not kidding you. This is like a college team. I, I'm sorry to say, but they, they are big. Johnny, Tim still got his eyes, even though he's got to get up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, he's got that green thumb show at 6 a.m. like JR was talking about. And, uh, you know, it's awesome. His eyes are working over there. And uh, three, some big boys. But we got our work cut out for him. But uh, I'm sure a little Bearcat pride come out of here with a victory tonight. All right, both teams heading out to midfield, and they're going to do the towing costs. Once again, glad you joined us. If you're listening over contemporary country and classic country here on the BOP, a reminder, we got two other stations for you, including classic rock and jazz. Just go to our website, www.livestream.com. Up in the left-hand corner, you'll see three bars. Click on that, scroll down. If you want to listen, just hit listen live. All the sports is on the Cowboy station with the Cowboy hat. And if you want to link up with us for the simulcast, you just click on video, and it goes right. So we're trying to make it easy for all, all us old-timers to get it on the air. Okay, we've got uh, the Grizzlies are going to receive. It looked like the Bearcats won the toss and deferred. All right, Coach, keys to victory. Keys to victory. Fast start for the Bearcats. Get out of the gate. Uh, play tough defense. Move the ball. Hog the ball. Great special units play tonight is imperative. I forgot to get a weather update from you, Coach. So what's uh, what, right now, what would you say? Well, right now I'm thinking it's in the 90s. And we got a pretty good breeze blowing from, uh, is that east to west? Yeah. It's got the flag kind of... Uh, tangled up out there so there is a breeze a good breeze blowing from east to west uh we reached 100 i believe 191 degrees right now good call what was our high 106 day? when i got out of the car here wow. today all right bearcats set to kick off reese bay will do the kicking for the bearcats going back to take the kick 21 it's number 21 milton clements and it looks like six. Six. One six, one 16. six. 16. Thank you, Johnny. And that right there is Xavier Worthy. Yeah. Worthy and Clements back to take the kick. Are you ready for football? Here we go, Bearcat Nation. And this is a, it's a little bloop kick. Uh, chucked it up in the air, and it's fielded Bearcat style. Gonzalez. At, at 38 yard line of the Grizzlies, and that's where they're going to start off first down and 10. So here we go. We get to see the high-powered offense right off the bat. Yeah, and we've got one of the referees. It looked like Mike Ostini is wearing a GoPro on tonight. Yes, he is, Coach. Okay, McGuffin is going to be 79 tonight, which is a change in the uh, program. Bearcats, four down linemen. Handoff. Zone right read. Side. Nice hole. Good break and on his way. 50, 45, 40, 35, 25. Knocked out of bounds inside that Bearcat. Try tip red zone. Quail Conley just yeah, on the Conley. zone play, and they, they just match up. They're big. So all they're doing is get a hat on a hat. And the Bearcats, you know, this is tough because if they play pass and try to try to play a five-man box, that's not going to work. Now they've got seven in the box. Make it six. Tompkins out of the pistol. Going to the Fade. end zone. Corner. Touchdown. Touchdown. Two plays. Hunter 
And it, th- those are their A yards, guys. And they get into the end zone for a touchdown. And, 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 it's, and they're matched up there. He's listed at 6'1". He looks more like 6'3 to me. So right out of the gate, big long run. Just, just you know, Jim, just what you didn't want to have happen. No, and on the run, Coach, the long run, I mean, it, they made it look easy, like you said. Helmet pads on pads, and they, he just cruised right through the hole and took off down the field. On for the extra point. Laveros, and it is good. 11.42 to go, first quarter. Bearcats down 7 to nothing. We'll take a break right here on the BOP Sports Network. We depend on first responders when lives are threatened, but sometimes we're the ones who are first on the scene. That's when you're glad you were trained by the first name in CPR and first aid. Rob Derrick, CPR and first aid. Rob Derrick, CPR and first aid has trained more than 56,000 students. Highly professional, training with friendly support, old-fashioned courtesy, and personalized attention. That's Rob Derrick, CPR and first aid. Serving the training needs of companies from the Bay Area all the way to Ventura. Remember, when the next emergency happens, at home, on the job, or out in that great big world, you may be the first responder that saves a life. Be ready. Contact Rob Derrick, CPR and first aid at 805-712-3681. That's 805-712-3681. Or find them on Facebook. When an emergency strikes, be ready. Be trained by the first name in CPR and first aid. Rob Derrick, CPR and first aid. All right, back at War Memorial Stadium. Well, uh, Central made it look easy, didn't they, Coach? Well executed, first two plays. Yep. Bubba set to kick off from the 40. And the the ball fell off the tee. (laughs) Maldonado back to take the kick for the Bearcats. The first one of those we've had this year, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. That's that's so anticlimactic. Everybody's jumping up and down and ready to go, and he runs up there and bloop, the ball falls off. Let's try it again, huh, Jim? Why not? So here's Cuevas, and he's big. Big for a kicker. Line drive, end over end kick, built it up by one of the up men. Magalona. Yeah, it was Magalona, and Magalona. Past the 20 and... Out to the 32, Jim. Kicks it to the 32-yard line. So first down and 10 for the Bearcats on offense. So now, Coach, just positive Slow plays. down, Slow move down. the ball. And they got some big boys out there, that defensive line. And number 92 is the nose guard right there, and that's uh, Javon Oliver at 6'5", 250 pounds. All right, two receivers to the far sideline. You see Wiesner down there in the H-back position. Coming across is Gallon in the formation, and it goes to Garcia. Garcia bulls his way forward, nice. does a nice job of breaking a couple tackles. You know, the big redwood trees inside there for uh, the Grizzlies that... He carries that football coach all the way up to the 37-yard line, setting up a second down and five. Yeah, they are in a three-four uh, defense, four deep behind that. All right, second down and five. Waterman, the quarterback, the sophomore. Garcia to his right. They're showing Shotgun blitz. Formation. Wiesner now will switch over to the left side, so it's trips left. Screen nice. Wiesner wide open, 40, 45 to midfield. Caught him in the blitz, sealed them off, and, and hey, great play call. And we talked about this. Let him do what he does well. Throw it in the flat and get first downs. This is good. This is a great offensive start. Two plays. The Bearcats gain 18 yards. The ball right outside of the logo, the PR at the top of the P at midfield. Far side. On the left hash mark. Waterman with Garcia working out of the shotgun. Sending a gallon in motion. Hand off Garcia left side. Rounds the corner. Nice job. Puts his head down. Takes the tackler with him out of bounds at the 45. Good positive gain of five. A good call there because they are in that uh, 3-4 defense and they slanted to the wide side of the field. We ran to the short side. All right, Coach, second down and five. Bearcats setting it up. Bottom is one receiver in the slot with Marshall to the near sideline. Gallant now comes into motion across. 
the formation. Man open down the Weiser. middle field. Weisner complete. Inside the 20 to the 15. They found something there. Yeah, great play action. They moved with the motion. They ran play action to the motion, and the linebacker stepped up, and, and that's a nice throw. Waterman didn't have to throw the ball more than 10 or 15 yards. That's no. a nice play call. And, you know, that takes some pressure off him. He's yep. not being forced. I think the motion and the movement, too, helped on that play, Coach, as it Definitely. did in the last play, on a running play. And now the Bearcats got him outflanked to the left side. Yep. Shotgun formation. There it is. Garcia going out. Waterman back to pass. Looking to the end zone. One scallop, and he can't come up with it. Yeah, man-to-man -man defense there. Pretty good job there by uh, number 12 for them. Heyman, 6 feet, 175-pound junior, running pretty much stride for stride. Pretty good throw, though. Yeah, you only put that ball where Gallant could be the only one to catch that, Coach. Right, and it didn't underthrow it. <laughs> coach, now we got... Reese Brumley in a quarterback for the Bearcats. Man-to-man -man defense. Yeah. Press coverage by yeah. both corners. Pistol with two backs to each side of them. Garcia Hand straight Garcia. ahead. Garcia down to the 25 where he's stacked up. That's going to set up about a third and seven. Bearcats have the football at the Grizzly 15-yard line. Ten minutes to go first quarter. Grizzlies on top seven to nothing. But you like this drive yes, by the Bearcats. Change, change. Change the quarterback again. Yep. Waterman back in. Waterman. The double wing formation yep. here, Jimmy. You see Wiesner and Gallant. Bottom also over wide receiver on the far sideline. Wiesner in motion across the formation. Shotgun. Garcia. Garcia past the 15. He may have got down to the 14, coach. Yeah, the, about third and about six. zone read in the end there. Uh, Mendez fourth down and six. Closed down and made yeah. the tackle. So here comes uh, the field goal unit, and uh, this is Reese Fay out for the field goal. It got a very. I hope he you knows. It would be a, a confidence boost to this club. Oh, the without, they whoa, without, last a, week without a doubt. But we got some confusion yeah. here. We have players have running on late. Thirty-one yard field goal attempt. Maldonado will do the holding. Snap down, kick up on its way, it's and no good. it's no wide, good. Wide right. But a great drive, and, and, and it's tough they didn't come up with any points there. Uh, the Buchanan defense, uh, good play calling, but they look a little flat there. Yeah, I mean, big plays, the motion, the good runs, the yeah. positive yardage, and yeah, just yeah, just, you want to get like I you said, gotta, you want to get special points. teams, Jimmy. Yeah. special teams. You want to get points. So yeah. now here you go. You send your defense back out to face this offense that went right. two plays, sixty-eight yards, and only a five-man. Well, players coming in late here. This that's not yeah. right. And this Tom kid's got back all to pass, day to throw. Pressured, throwing deep down field, oh, just underthrown. He underthrew him. That was number 21 for the Bearcats. Uh, and we got a man was, down. That was Brumley who, uh, is that the quarterback that's no, down? No, no. One of, their, one of the linemen. Actually, Reese Brumley was back there in coverage. The ball was underthrown. He nearly got a, a hand on it. Do number we wanna, 71 is down for them. Do we want, no, I was going to ask you, Coach, do you think we should take that bag off the top because it's leaking? There you go. We've got what we call a poor man's, <laughs> what would you call that, Coach? A poor man's air conditioning unit going right now, Yes, right? we do. Yes, we do. We have a bag of ice hanging in front of a fan, and when, it, when it's leaking, we're collecting the water to drink as it comes off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to remind everybody, uh, Temple and Eagle Locker Room Show coming your way Sunday, uh, Monday night for Nino's, 7 o'clock. John Doss will host. Interviews with the head football coach from Templeton and more. That's the Templeton Eagle Locker Room Show with John Doss every Monday night from Nino's in downtown historic Templeton. So they're helping the big lineman off the field. It'll be second down and 10. 7 nothing. Centennial, uh, uh, Central that is, on top. They took the opening kickoff, two plays, 68 yards, and punched it in, in the end zone. The Bearcats... Had a field goal attempt, but it went wide, so that's where we stand now with 8.30 to go in the first, 8.38 to go in the first quarter, seven to nothing. 
Pistol formation, Tompkins the quarterback. Keeps it himself, good pressure by the Bearcats. And look who's there again, coach. Big number 20 for the Bearcats, Corbin Payne. By the way, Corbin had a great game last week. He did. So third down and 11. You know, it's a cliche, but this is a big play for the Bearcat oh, defense. huge. Trips right. Six-man box, Jim. Yeah, for Tompkins. Audible at the line. Yeah. Pistol formation. Back Blitz. to pass. Up uh, the middle, this is what we run, talked yeah, about. And he's going to get around the corner and pick up the first down and walk. And here comes a flag. A late flag at the 30. I don't know uh, if you picked I, that up, John. Uh, it looks like a, maybe a block in the back. Yeah. But he easily made the first down. We talked about this on the, on the show. you got to stay in your lanes against this guy. I mean, he picked up easily 15 yards there, and that's going to come back. John, I missed that call. Was that a hold? Block in the back. Block in the back. Okay, so that'll be a spot foul. So they'll get third down, and it'll be third down and about uh, about 10. Should be right about, yeah, 10. 10-yard penalty from the spot of foul. Well, actually... Not to correct you guys. Third down and 11. That'll work. We'll take an extra yard here. So they go back to the same formation. Trips right. Tompkins with the back behind him. Back to pass. Looking, looking. Gets the pass. That man throw. wide open. Oh, and caught a Great he catch. Great caught adjustment. It bounds down at the 45. Brumley got no, it. No, he's out of, bounds. out of bounds. Wow. A break for the Bearcats. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> There seems to be, they're not happy about that over there. Now, you see Brumley out there talking to Gomez. Brumley got kind of crossed up right. and lost his man, and he's trying to, you know, talk about it. So, Coach, fourth down on 11. Yep. Hey, Jim. Yeah, Tim. There was no question he was out of bounds. He had his foot out of bounds oh, when he caught that is, ball. This is, we got Tim. That's All what right. we got you over now, there, Now, they're guy. showing that they're going for it, but remember the punter is the quarterback. So now he drops back. Rolls yep. out, and he'll let it kick. It's a rugby-style kick. And it's going to uh, bounce out of bounds. It's going to stay. Core punt. In. It's about a 28-yard yeah, Grizzly punt. territory. First down and 10 for the Bearcats at the 47 of the Grizzlies. Coach, 7.33 to go. Uh, advantage Bearcats defense after that. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Bearcats playing. This is a different team when they get here. I'm telling you, it's different. We welcome everybody that's watching us on Livestream.com and listening to the simulcast. Also listening on Contemporary and Classic Country, the BOP. You've got the BOP Sports Network. Jim Weeman along with Bill Stansbury. Timmy Stewart and Johnny Doss down on the sand lines. Dave Lambert up top running the live stream. And here come the Bearcat offense coach. Perez in at running back. Yep, Perez just to the right. Shotgun formation for Waterman. Marshall and Bottom down to the near sideline. And now we got whistles everywhere and delay a game. Now that's tough. Now we talked about fumbles, interceptions, and penalties, and not so bright plays. You shouldn't have a delay of the game coming out of a change of possession. You should know what the play is and let's go, guys. And the quarterback's got to see the back judge put that hand up. All right, Bonham and Marshall to the near sideline. Gallant now coming across in motion. Shotgun formation. Waterman stepping up, and he's going to be dropped. And everybody was covered. He wanted to hit Wiesner on a crossing route, and uh, number 15 for them had him locked up, and he, Conley, and he just didn't have time to get it to him. But let's call that, let's call, that that's a smart play. Rather than force that thing and throw it, get it picked, he took the sack. What's hurt here is the penalty. Now, instead of having second and 12, you've got second and a mile. Second down and about 21. Quick toss. Pitch. Round the corner, right towards us. Gain of a couple. Yeah, number six Perez there for them. on the run for the Bearcats. Sophomore Jones, linebacker, making the tackle. Good-looking kid for a sophomore, 5'11", 215 So, Coach, about pounds. third down, and what do we got here? About five, seven, four, three, third and 20. Levi Marshall to the near sideline. Looks Bottom like they're playing man-to-man. To, man. to the far sideline. Wiesner across the formation. Man Play action. Up. Here comes the blitz. Waterman rolling out, looking downfield, throws it up for grabs, and it's incomplete. Great defense there from Caden Gallant to 
keep that position yeah. for the Bearcats. Yeah, number 15, Conley was all over that thing, and that's a great play by Gallant to knock it down. So, again, you know, when you play great teams, you, you can't have the penalty. So the penalty really hurt. Clean it, they're playing physically well. All right. Reese Bay back to do the punting for the Bearcats. Special teams, Jim, very important here. Coach, that's number three to take the punt. That's Hunter. Yep, the Standing wide receiver. Back in his own 20. Gentlemen, it's 13, 1-3. One, 1-3. Three. One, three. Okay. That's Conley, the running yeah. back. Oh, we dropped the punt. Dropped, dropped the punt, it, blocked. And, oh, he barely, what a job getting that punt off. And it took a Bearcat Decent, hop out of at bounds the at the 30. He just dropped the snap. Yeah, he looked up. So it goes out of bounds at the 32-yard line. And that's where the Grizzlies will start off. First down and 10. And by the way, they have traveled well. About half full on the other sideline from Central High School in the Valley. Yeah, and our side is filling up pretty well here. There's still a lot of people coming in here, Jim. All right, let's see if the Bearcat defense can step up again. They're down 7 to nothing, 6.07 to go. This will be the third offensive possession of the football game for the Grizzlies. Stunt by the Bearcats there. They, they yeah, Tompkins uh, with the handoff and pass the 35 to the 36-yard line. That was Cotley, the running back, doing a nice job, weaving in his way, and actually picked up four, second and six. Yeah, the Bearcats like that stunt where they take Corbin Payne and slant him down inside and take 72 Jose Torres and loop him outside. Same thing with Klassen here. And uh, second and seven, yeah, back to pass, stepping up, looking downfield, man open and caught. Great throw and great catch in the Bearcat territory at the 41 yard line. Yeah, and he threw that, that was Clemens, all the receiver. way across the field. That, he probably threw that 40 yards across the field and, and 20 yards down the field. That was a 60 yard pass. That was just a great athletic play right there. So what we've heard about the quarterback is true. We're witnessing that right now. Tompkins got back a flag. to flag. Flushed out of the pocket. Then he sat. Guess who? Corbin, Corbin Payne. Payne again. Let's see what the flag is here. Holy Looks like illegal formation, gentlemen. It went off right at the snap. Yep. Somebody was covering somebody up, or there weren't enough people on the line of scrimmage. And so we'll decline that one. Coach, like you talked about in the pregame where there's a chance that the Bearcats would use a spy, it's exactly what they're doing. Number 22, Mark Martinez, Martinez. being used as a spy. Second down and 13. Tompkins working out of the pistol. Three receivers in the near sideline. Back to pass. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Has a man. And a great defensive play coming up from behind. 35. For the Bearcats. That was uh, Zach, Zach Gomez. Gomez. First time all season, gentlemen, I've seen a Bearcats corner look back for the football to find it as a corner. Great job by Gomez. Oh, he had him. Great play. And, you know, this is what we talked about. They don't hink and dink the ball down the field. They're, they're watching this thing. All right. Fourth and 13, they'll go for it. Pass complete and a great second effort and burst of speed. Picking up the first down past the 30, the 25 down to the 19-yard line of the Bearcats. Yeah. I mean, Coach, did you see that juke? Yeah. And and you saw it on a live stream if you're watching at home. It's 21, Milton Clemens for them, 5'10", 170-pound. Milton uh, is a uh, senior, and he put the move on the Bearcats secondary. Now, that's either one of those things, say, great move or poor tackling. All right, they're in that Bearcat tri-tip red zone, first down and 10 from the 19. Tompkins has a man uh, wide, wide open, open but under he it. There, and it's intercepted. 26, 26. Lambeth? Yes, Lambeth, a great play. That ball was slightly underthrown because the receiver was open running the corner pattern. He threw it late and maybe a yard behind him and a great recovery by Lambeth to get that. So the Bearcat defense is stepping up now after a very shaky start. Now they got to get the ball out of here. The ball's going to be spotted at the two-yard line, Jim. 
Coach, that ball held up. It is breezy down here with the flag blowing. Yeah, it's yeah, blowing good point. Good that point. ball held up in the wind big time. East to west, and yeah, knocked it down. All oh. over it. We're, we're going to start calling you Minnesota Dave, John. That was a beautiful interception there. He played that perfectly. I predict the water better than Minnesota Dave. All right, Coach, as you said, you know, you get the interception, but you're down there. You got to get some positive yards now here and be careful. First down for the Bearcats from their own two-yard line after the Under pick. center. Underneath center, a quarterback Sneak. keeper. Not much there. Did he get up to the three? Gave him a yard. He got to the three. Setting up. Actually, they gave him two, Coach. Looks like Chris Montero's putting that down at the four. Second and eight. Second and eight. Got a little breathing room now. Waterman looking over to the sideline, getting to play. Taking his time, clock down to 3.44 to go. Third offensive possession of the football game for the Bearcats. He's working out of the gun in his own end zone. Garcia to his Blitz. right. Garcia takes the handoff, goes to the left, that is, and got past the five and up to, we're going to call it the nine-yard line, setting up a very doable third down and four, Coach. They're at the nine. They need to get right about the 13 for first down. Yeah, they're in their 3-4 defense, and they don't do a lot. When they blitz, they just bring the outside guys. They're not twisting, stunting. All right, Bearcats, here we go. Big offensive play with 3.05 to go, down 7 to nothing. High snap. No, 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 there's the confusion. Limiter. Waterman looking, man, <laughs> open. Weezer catches it. First down and more to the 19. <laughs> I, I can't believe that was that was the play. He put the ball back to the Statue of Liberty to Garcia, and Garcia wasn't there. He alertly looked down the field and threw it to Wiesner. I think I think the play faked out the defense because the, it the wasn't, middle was wide open. Right, yeah. right. Garcia went the wrong way, gentlemen. He went to the wrong yes. side, and Wiesner came yes. back to his quarterback. <laughs> All right, big first down for the Bearcats from their own 21-yard line. Waterman. The same play. Complete. Wiesner to the 30. 35. Tackled from behind and push forward up to the 43. What they do there is they get in kind of a bunch formation and they fake the ball to the right. And then Wiesner just goes out in the left flat and they run off the wide receiver in the corner of that side and the linebacker is disappearing over there. They've run that twice and had good success. So the Bearcats really looking good here against a team that is ranked number 19 in the state. 2.15 to go, first quarter, Bearcats down 7 to nothing. Remember, this drive started at their own two. They're up to their 44-yard line now. Pass off, Maldonado pulls it in. Look out, he's in trouble. Broke the tackle, still moving Whoa. forward. Pass midfield into Central Territory. Running with Bearcat pride. Broke two tackles. That should have been a one-yard game. Their corner, number four, Silas Proby, was right there, 5'11", 165-pound guy, and just could not. Coach, I thought hit. he was stopped. I was oh. in trouble. Yep. I mean, the guy's twice his size. Thought he was going to bring him down. Coach, if he'd have gotten some help from his fellow wide receiver with a block there, he would have been gone for a touchdown. All right, Perez in at running back. Levi. Marshall, sweeping around the other end. Got, Breaks got the tackle, the nice stutter move past the 40. Inside the 40. Down to about, we're going to call it the 37. No, the 36. Second down and 10. And fundamentally, Central on defense is, is making a mistake. They are giving up the edge. Nobody's setting an edge. And the Bearcats got a little bunch thing going on the left side here, and they can do this again. We got Marshall Wiesner over there. Perez in at running back. Perez in at running back to the right of Waterman. Waterman, two receivers to the far sideline. Back to pass. Looking, man, wide open oh. and dropped. Oh, that was uh, Perez. Perez was, coming out of the backfield. Yeah. And, and what they did there is they took Wiesner and ran him inside and took the running back out and picks an ugly word. Uh, we'll call it a rub route, and he was wide open. Dropped right. the ball. 59 seconds to go. Clock stops here in the first quarter. Down 7 to nothing. I think two down territory here oh. for the Bearcats yes. to get a first down. Yep. And they got to come away with some points on this drive. Right, and they're in this little tight double slot formation. All right, shotgun for Waterman. 
Magalona going out. Will he screen it to him? Stepping up, pressured, look out, sacked. He had, if he'd had a little bit of time, he had Wiesner. So they drop him. Now that takes them, now yeah. you gotta punt it. At the 43, and here comes the punting unit. With 40 seconds to go, clock running first quarter. All in all though, I tell you what, I mean, the way that Central started, right. two plays, yeah. 68 yards, you thought, mm -hmm. well, this is gonna be a long game. Yeah. But you really have to credit the Bearcats, the coaching staff, the players, they've come to play. Time of possession is yeah. in the favor of the Bearcats, yeah. just like we wanted it. And you flipped field position on this possession. Conley back to take the punt. Nice punt. High hang time. They're going to let it bounce. Let it bounce. Down it. Oh, he picks it, it up at the one. He picked it up at the one, Conley, and <laughs> oh, why? Oh, oh. And got tagged. And now the there's a very late flag. Late flag. This will be. This is a key flag here. Let's see who this Clock is stops. on. Clock stops. One second left to go. First quarter. Key penalty here. Let's see. On sports and light contact or block in the back. What do we got? Helmet. Uh, helmet. Something or other there. Against personal Edward. foul. Personal foul. Blindside block. Okay, and that will move the ball back inside the five yard line down to the three. Half the distance to the goal line. Yeah, special teams. There you go. Coach, so, we, we had the last possession starting at R2. Flip the field on the three. All right. This will be the last play of the first quarter. Tompkins from his own end zone. He's going to run it right keep. up the gut. Coach, he talked about it, and there he goes. 20, still on his feet. Tackle down at the 30, and that's going to end the first quarter. With our score from War Memorial Stadium, Seven to nothing, Central on top of the Bearcats, right here on the BOP Sports Network. Are you tired of renting your home, but think buying is impossible in today's market? What if you could get into your own home with a conventional loan with just 3% down? Impossible? Maybe not. When you contact Vision Mortgage and Chris Bonima, find out about the dollars and cents of real-world home financing. Check into the wide range of loan options. Discover the possibilities for owning your own home. Tired of renting? Think buying a home is impossible? Maybe it's time for you to get a new vision. Vision Mortgage, where you may find that owning your own home is the possible dream. Contact them today. Vision Mortgage, 805-975-8584. That's Vision Mortgage, 805-975-8584. What if you could get into your own home with a conventional loan with just 3% down? Impossible? Maybe not. Tired of renting? Make the call. Get the vision. Vision Mortgage. All right, welcome back to Bearcat Football. On the live stream, simulcasting on here on the VOP Sports Network on Classic Country, Contemporary Country on the VOP. Tompkins rolling out. There he goes again, breaking tackles. Past the 40, 45. Still on his feet into Bearcat territory. Past the 45, knocked out of bounds near the 40. Yeah, Two consecutive yeah. runs. How many yards okay. is that? Over 50 yards. Okay, first play was quarterback ISO that got him out of there where they took the running back and blocked the linebacker. That, Bearcats just gave up. Fundamentally, you can't give up outside leverage. He just stepped outside, got outside, and he can run. He, If I was them, I'd just keep running him. 57 yards on, two, on his last two carries, Coach. Now he wants to go deep. Down the far sideline. Man open. Oh, he and dropped it. Right he not only dropped it, but I think that was a pretty good play down there defensively. Was that Kelly for the Bearcats? Yeah, Kelly. I think he got a hand in there. Might have gotten a hand in there. Did you see that, John? Did he get a hand in there? He didn't get a hand in there, but he almost got the ball because he almost was giving it to him by number three. He, he lost it. It was a little behind him, and he almost gave it to Kelly. All right, second down and 10 they go back to the running game right up the gut this is going to be a first down and more past the 30 all the way down to the 30 uh the 27 yard line of the bearcats simple simple helmet uh, on helmet that looks like uh number 12 in now sean Heyman. 12 yeah. yes Heyman in feet 175 tompkins out bearcats of the pistol blitz. bearcats blitz tompkins across the middle complete Past the 20 into the Bearcat tri-tip red zone at the 18. It's stop. Hunter. Yeah, that was uh, Lambeth on a stop for the Bearcats. Hunter for them. Just going down, running a hitch. Just going, going down, turning around. So, 
They got it rolling right now. They're down inside the red zone. That Bearcat tri-tip red zone at the 19. Tompkins throws it out. Far sideline complete. Screen. Cutting it back and getting into the end zone for a touchdown will be number three, Jeremy Hunter. Yeah, and that's one of those screens where he steps back and the big offensive tackle, number 74 there, Dwight D.J. Tatum came out and blocked the corner, and he got underneath and just ran right through the secondary. Now, remember, that drive started all the way back at, what, their two-yard line? Yeah, that's two, yeah. 98 yard 98-yard drive. 98 98-yard drive. So One they can, minute and six seconds. Should have yeah. been 106. Yeah, and they can score early. Cuevas here at 5'10", 220, the kicker. Yeah, snap down, kick up, and it is no, no good. good. Whoa! 10.55 to go, first half. Bearcats down 13 and nothing right here on the BOP Sports Network. Good morning, fellow Americans, and welcome to Joe's Place in Templeton and Paso Robles and Joe's One Niner Diner at the Paso Robles Airport, home of old-style comfort food like biscuits and gravy, huge omelets, scrumptious sandwiches, old-fashioned potato salad, and tons of attitude. Come early, bring your appetite. Joe's Place and the One Niner Diner are the favorite first stops for locals and visitors alike. Breakfast and lunch, there's nothing like Joe's Place and the One Niner Diner to satisfy your gorilla-sized appetite. Hey, what a great idea. They put a gorilla on the sign so you don't even have to look for the address. But here's where you'll find it. Joe's Place, 730 South Main Street, Templeton, 805 Spring Street in Pass Robles, and of course the One Niner Diner at the Pass Robles Airport. Great food, lots of attitude, and a gorilla on the sign. You'll only find that at Joe's Place and the One Niner Diner in Templeton and Paso Robles. Hey, I don't know about you, Coach, but uh, Joe's Place, best chicken fried steak and eggs anywhere. Eating there every two weeks. There you go. Short kick, short kick. Marshall. Oh, boy, that's, that's a, penalty. a penalty. Now, what happened there is, is Marshall took a knee as soon as he caught it, and this guy, number 21 for them, clobbered him Clemens. Uh, it's Clemens Milton yeah Clemens so that's a big break you know we talk about special teams and penalties I mean instead of having the ball at the 32 yard line now you're going to be up at the 47 you're near midfield so now you've cut the field in half to score so what this does for the Bearcats it sets them up at their own 47 yard line and coach uh, now once again we've been talking about it you get these opportunities against a team like you're playing right now, the number one team in Division One in the Central section, 18th in the state. You 100, got a, 154 in the nation yeah. out of 15,000. Here comes the Bearcat offense. Levi Marshall to the far sideline. Wiesner, Bonham, Gallant to the near sideline. Across the formation comes Bonham. Screwy and motion. Goes back and then the handoff goes to Magalona. And he has nowhere to go. He's going to lose two yards back to the 45, second and 12. I'm not sure about that motion. He goes in motion. If you're not here and you're not watching, you're on the VOP. He went in motion and then made a 360-degree turn, came back behind the quarterback and came back to where he started. I don't know that that really bothered them much. All right, here we go. Second down and 12. High snap. Screen set up, picked off. He threw it right into the hands of a lineman. Under intense yeah. pressure. Wiesner came down and made the stop. Interception, I believe, Coach, that was number 55. Correct. Jim Kisling, the defensive yeah. lineman, a senior who picked it off. Six feet, 220 pounds, and he is right there. Then that's playing the screen the way he should, and you got pressure. Now, this has been the bugaboo for the Bearcats. It's been interceptions. Coach, a fluid screen printing scoreboard update for you. Arroyo Grande, seven. Lompoc, nothing. 11.04 left in the second quarter. Thank you, slow man. Wow. Templeton, nine. Santa Paula, zero. Start of the second quarter. All right. Great field position. And Quarterback there he Cape. goes. Tompkins running. Look at he found that hole. Past the 20. Cuts it back. Stays on his feet. Turned it back. And I believe he stepped down inside the 10. Down at the nine-yard line and, of the and, Bearcats. And let me tell you something. When he gets into the second level, he's not running out of bounds either. He's tough. He's 200 pounds, and he's bigger than all the DBs, and he's looking to run them over when he gets out there. All right, first and goal to goal from the nine. 9.58 to go first half. Central on top, 13 to nothing. Tompkins, wide open, touchdown. 
Just straight up the field. St way yeah, too that loose was coverage. Wide open on the far side. And Number it's one. 19 0. Yep. Grayson just ran straight up the field, and the ball was perfectly timed, thrown low so he could go down and get it without getting hit. But you got to tighten up the coverage there. You get inside the 10 yard line like that, you, you, gotta, you, you can't be standing back in the end zone. And yeah, Cuevas, 220 pound, 5'10 kicker. You don't see him that big very often, do you, coach? No, you don't. He missed his last extra point. Snap down, kick up, and this one goes right to the uprights. So 9.50 remaining first half. We'll take a break. Bearcats down 20 to nothing right here on the BOP Sports Network. If you think you've been there and done that all over town, you haven't been to the Crimson Q Sports and Billiards Club in Paso Robles. They have 10 pool tables, including snooker, shuffleboard, foosball, big screen TVs, weekly league and tournament games, plus an amazing patio looking out over Spring Street. It's family friendly too. The Crimson Q Sports and Billiards Club is open seven days a week from 1 p.m. to 2 a.m. The Crimson Q Sports and Billiards Club is located at 1319 Spring Street, across from the Boot Barn in Paso Robles. So, if you think you've been there and done that all over town, try the Crimson Q Sports and Billiards Club, 1319 Spring Street, Paso Robles. That's the Crimson Q Sports and Billiards Club, where good times click. All right, Cuevas will kick it. Maldonado pulls it in at the five. Cuts it to the near sideline and cuts it back against the grain and those coconut shells and gets pushed forward past the 25 to the 27. No, they're going to they're give him a few more yards. Jim looks like they're going to mark that at the 29. Oh, so. they're going to move it up 29? Okay. Yeah, so we got decent field position. Now, now everything's going well except for turnovers and lack of conversion. Johnny, did you, did you, do you have another scoreboard update for you? Sorry about that. I, I do. I've got a fluid screen. Go ahead. Scoreboard update. Mission prep up 13 to nothing on Greenfield. You've got Pioneer Valley up 15 to nothing on Cabrillo in the first quarter. Yeah. St. Joe leads Bakersfield Christian 6 to nothing. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Waterman to Maldonado in the flat and just under threw him. Whoa, whoa, that's, that's, that's a lateral. Then that's, that's sharp on his part. He picked it up. Yeah, I he, thought that, that looked like that was in front of him, though, Coach. You know, I, we can ask our chain gang crew. Did anybody that, see that, it? Did Timmy, was that out in front? And Timmy's getting his microphone on. Looks sideways from here. Yeah. I thought it was ahead of him. I thought it was a pass, but we'll, well take Hey, it. we made four yards, so we'll yeah. take it. Yeah, we'll take well, it. He was smart enough to pick it up and run. Yeah. yeah. Now we, we're having an official conference, which is never good. No. They're calling now they're calling an incomplete pass. Yeah. Tim, maybe they heard you. They heard you, Tim. Tim, don't do that again. No, <laughs> I was away from them. They didn't hear me, but I think that's the right call, to be honest with you. Okay, guys. Good job down there. Thank you. Hey, we got the best two sideline reporters in the business. Okay, we got a timeout here for the Bearcats. Timeout Bearcats, and we'll take a short break back in 30 here on the VOP Sports Network. When it comes to concrete breaking, cutting, and sawing, there's only one person to call, Jeff Gallagher at Central Coast Concrete Cutting in Paso Robles. Family owned with more than 50 years of experience. For concrete cutting, core drilling, and hard and soft demolition, they're your first call. Don't wait. Call Jeff Gallagher, Central Coast Concrete Cutting, direct at 805-400-5535. That's 805-400-5535 for Central Coast Concrete Cutting. All right, welcome back to Bearcat football here on the BOP. Bearcats down 20 to nothing, 8.53 to go here in the first half. And John and Tim down on the sidelines want to let you know that the uh, the boss is here. Mr. Martin has made his way to Memorial Stadium, so be on your best behavior. <laughs> now this is What's that, Jim? I can't hear you. The, the, I'm, I'm serious. They had to tell him to knock the music off over here. It's very, very loud. And I could barely hear what you said. I, I said the boss is here, Mr. Uh, Martin, and he said get back to work. No. Yeah. Yes, sir. No. <laughs> All right, Coach, got to get some offense going here. In, Six, yes, we do. This is a critical back. drive. Waterman in trouble, flushed out of the pocket, looking down the field. He's gonna nice run, job. And they're going to drag him down from behind at the line of scrimmage. And it is, boy, that is a big 
linebacker chasing him down. Yeah, and he's a sophomore. Yeah. And fast. Nice job by the sophomore to not throw that ball across the middle to Caden Gallant. That would have been picked. Thank you. Yeah, so smart play by the quarterback. If it's not there, don't force it. And it, that was not a loss of yardage, so let's take it. Here we go. Third down and 10. Waterman with Garcia to his left. Two receivers to the near sideline. Looking, looking, throwing out to Wiesner, and he can't come out that it'll be forked out. Okay, that was that same kind of thing with Wiesner sneaking out of the backfield, and they're, they're, they kind of got onto that a little bit better that time. Had he caught it, he would not have had the first down. It would have made about five. Hey, guys. Yes. Uh, Waterman took a pretty good hit on that last play right there when they hit him, and uh, he's, uh, he's feeling it right now. I'll keep, keep an, an eye on him over here for you, Timmy. Thank you. Okay, this punt is critical. You've got to cover this thing. You can't get it blocked. You've got to flip the field here. Reset the punt. Good stuff. Big rush. Got it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Woo. Great hang time. No fair catch. Pulled in. Oh, no. Nice move to the 40. Finding a lane into Bearcat territory. Flying Jumping over a Bearcat down. Near the 35-yard line. This one will come back, gentlemen. Okay. We got a flag. There's good. A flag good. at the 45. It was a block in the back. Wiesner got hammered. And, and did you see how that young man caught that ball? He caught it in his hands. That was a spiraling punt, and he caught it in his hands, not in the body. Their coach is not real happy about this call over there. Well, when there's four flags <laughs> sitting on the field, that means Maybe. that everyone saw it. Okay, this, this, that's a huge penalty. So instead of having the ball at the 30-yard line going in, now they're going to have the ball back at their own 25-yard line. Yeah. So, so when you say that's a 10-yard penalty, no, it's not. It's a 50-yard penalty. Yeah. The kids, so, have to, kids have to understand that. That's part of learning the game. First down and 10 from the Grizzlies. And, Jim, what's been the trouble for the Bearcats against this offense? Who's been the problem? The quarterback. The quarterback, because he's got nearly uh, like 80 Look yards. Look at the big over. gap in the A gap. Tompkins, quick little slant, complete. Down at the 40, this is going to be a first down right up to the 45-yard line. They have huge line splits. And he just, quick little ride. Yeah, and that the was line, with the catch coach. Yeah, but. quick little ride, and the linebacker step up, and the guys hitch right behind where they stepped up. Two receivers each sideline. Tompkins now swings it out to the far sideline. Pulled in at midfield to the 40, still in bounds, all the way down inside the 30. Are they going to say he stepped out of bounds at, at the 33-yard 33 33. line? And that was number, number five. five. That was Brown. And and what I'm seeing here is, and you guys down there correct me if I'm wrong, their receivers look stronger than RDBs. Then that's how they're breaking the tackles and blocking them. Yes. All right, first down and 10. Tompkins down the middle of the field, over through an open wide receiver. That was number five again. That was Brown. And hey, Bill, on, and to that, when they're, they're receivers, they go along that sidelines and they don't go out of bounds. They I keep got their a flag down here. Right. It, it's illegal substitution, Bearcats, or it's off. Bearcats. Johnny, okay, so you Johnny you're breaking up a little Johnny, bit. Johnny, you're breaking up a little I know, bit. I I'm sorry. That's all right. Got a lot, okay, illegal substitution is the correct call that you told us about. So that'll be a penalty, and that will move the chains. Five-yard penalty. Yeah, first down and five. Inside the 30 at the 28-yard uh, line. That's very costly penalty there. Now we got penalty now they on, on them. Offside, so they're going to give it right back. Yep. Can anybody run a play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, high school football. Back and forth we go. 20 to nothing. Grizzlies on top. 7.22 to go. And tell Bear you the truth, Bear the Bearcats haven't played that bad tonight. Late substitution right there. Fake the inside and zone, wide flag, open. Complete down the middle field to Brown, into the end zone for a touchdown. And, he and made it look easy. And that's poor tackling in the secondary when those guys see that. And they, they, there's no answer here for that play. All they do is ride the running back, the linebacker step up, and the back just, the, the receiver goes down and hooks where the linebacker left, and then 
to be honest, both safeties missed the tackle. He just splits the safeties and runs right through them. Bill, that was, I have to say, that was awfully poor tackling there in the secondary for sure. He whiffed it. 26 to nothing, and uh, Webos, the big kicker on. Snap down. They nearly blocked it, and it's good. So, 27 to nothing. Go ahead, coach. Okay, they got to get these kids together over here defensively and correct two things. They got to draw that play up for them or show it to them. On, on the, they've had a, in the past, they've got a giant TV that's right down there. Show them that play. And it's a simple play. They're running zone right, and the slot receiver is just going down and hooking right behind where the linebacker steps up, and then the safeties are making the tackle. What has to happen is seeing as they see that zone play, the linebacker's got to honor that, but the safety's got to read that receiver and make that play. I forgot, Coach. We should open up the text lines for everybody if you have a question for Coach concerning tonight's ball game. Or Bearcat football, 805-769-0126. All right, Wavo signed a kick. Try tips arrive, coach. Is this Ball's bouncing about? into the end zone. Into the end zone. Touchback, Bearcats will start first down and 10 at their own 20. Now, there's 7-10 to go in the second quarter. You're down now 27 to nothing. What you don't want to do is get out of what you did. In the first quarter, move the ball very nicely. You had a 50-yard drive. Short passing mixed in with running the football. Don't try to throw the ball deep down the field against this defense. Well, you got 7 minutes and 10 seconds left in this half. You're down 27 to nothing. Offensively now... Like you said, just move the ball. Move the ball, stay ahead of the Kill team. the clock. Kill that clock. All right, shotgun formation. Magnolia will take the handoff, trying to sweep it around. Fumble. He fumbled the football, and it's It'll going recover. to be recovered by the Grizzlies. Yep, their number one guy, Noah Gonzalez, their leader on defense, and he just dropped that. That ball was right in his belly, unless there was – something I didn't see. that He just dropped it, just laid it on the ground. And that's exactly what you didn't want to do. Flat so drop, they, Coach. Absolute flat drop. So here you are, and you've set them up on a short field at the 37-yard line. Look for them right now to throw the ball deep on the first play. You're right looking at, now. They're looking for the kill shot right here, exactly. right? Exactly. All right, here we go. We'll pistol formation. Uh, 88 at the bottom, maybe. And he's giving a hand signal Conley behind him. Behind him. Trips left. Tompkins back, slant, complete. Down at the 20. Okay, inside receiver ran an out. Outside receiver ran an in, and then they had another guy run right through uh, the, outs uh, the safety's inside shoulder, sp splitting the zone. Back to pass, steps up, throws deep to the corner, out of bounds. Incomplete. Had him there, it looked like, for a minute, Coach. Yeah, somebody commenting on the live stream right now. Coach Stansbury saying, uh, Central has some athletes. <laughs> yeah, they do. And, and you know, again, if they want to, the, the best effective play is running right, this the middle. quarterback. Quarterback, one step back and then take off. Yep. Back to pass. <laughs> so ah. Same thing. Rode that zone and he was open and dropped it. So, so great defense. So let's call it great defense. Here's critical, critical, critical play right here. Third, Third down ten. and ten. Right at the twenty of the Bearcats. Six thirty-one to go. First half. Bearcats down twenty-seven to nothing. Fake the zone. He rolls Hopkins wide open. Man in the back of the end zone. What a catch! Did you? <laughs> okay, that wasn't an easy ball to catch. Great hands. And he was rolling left and threw back to his right. But what did we lose? Outside contain, and he had all day to throw the ball and wind up and zing that thing at 800 miles an hour in there. So, again, two turnovers have, have given them 14 points. So, you, you know, you may say the defense, you're down 34 to nothing here at halftime. It's on the defense, but the offense, 
has caused part of that problem. Just just like we talked about at the beginning, no FIPS, and we're FIPPing. Burrow's extra point is through the upright, 6.20 to go, first half. Bearcats now down 34 to nothing right here on the BOP Sports Network. Hi, Chef Nicola here from uh, Mistura Restaurant and uh, my beautiful wife, Jacqueline. Hello, we would like to welcome you to Mistura. The term Mistura condenses the essence of Peru, a reflection of their people, a marvelous mix of cultures that embodies the country's vibrant cuisine. At Mistura, we use only sustainable ingredients from free-range meats, fresh seafood, to organic products locally grown. We invite you to Mistura for a new and exciting culinary experience. Mistura also offers the perfect outdoor venue, a lake surrounded with lush gardens for your wedding or your next special event. Come and enjoy our amazing farm-to-table fair. Mistura is located at 700 Clubhouse Drive in Paso Robles at the River Oaks Golf Course, or you can call 805-238-3333 for reservations. For a new and exciting culinary experience, Discover Peru, Discover Mistura. Cuervo set to kick off, 34-0 after another touchdown by the Grizzlies. Magalona fields it, gets to the 25, and took a big hit and bounced back off that hit. And blow the whistle, please. Yeah, someone someone blow 30. the whistle. Yeah, got up to 30. I hate to see that. Uh, it's better to have an early whistle than a late whistle. You get in that number of players involved in what looks like a rugby scrum. Bodies are getting twisted, and uh, I just don't want to see anybody hurt in that situation. Hey, Coach, you want to remind you? Networker as well. we got three stations to serve you now. Contemporary country and classic country. Classic rock, and I know you like a little jazz as well, right? Yeah, I'm not a big jazz. Mellow, no, no. Mellows you out a little bit right here on the BOP. Check out our website, www.voiceofpasto.com. Fly got sweep. Gallant trying to get around the corner, and... He will not find a corner. He'll lose a yard, second and 11. And that, when, when you run that play, the battle is between the wide receiver and the corner on that side. Can the corner set the edge? That time the corner set the edge, and the safety, number two for them, Noah Gonzalez, just came right up and made the tackle. Got a fluid screen uh, printing scoreboard update for you. Rory Grande, 14, Lompoc, nothing, 324 to go. Second quarter. Upset in progress. Blitz. Waterman in trouble. Ducked down, running for his life. Just throw that ball away, young man. There you go. Throw That's nice. That's nice. And, 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 and again, their blitz is really simple, but the guy is tough. It's just Dominic Mendez, who's got four and a half sacks so far, just coming off the edge and forcing Waterman to scramble. All right, third down and 11, coach. Waterman, out of the gun, back to his right. Two receivers to each sideline. 5.24 left to go in the half. Said the Bearcats down 34 to nothing. Back to pass. Looking downfield, man, open. Great defensive play, though. Maldonado was open for a moment, but... Coming over, that was Gonzalez, Noah Gonzalez, a 5'10", senior defensive back who hustled over and got his hand in there. Nice job of closing on the ball. Now that time they ran a little stunt inside, slanted the nose one way and brought the backside backer to the front side and applied some pressure doing that. But it's basically a four-man rush. They're not bringing six or seven no. guys. Uh, it's pretty conservative play on their part. Reese Fay back to kick. Conley back to take the punt, standing at his own 35. Good snap, here comes the pressure, he got it off, another nice punt. Beautiful coach. punt. Takes the Bearcat bounce, and then will go out of bounds. Looks like inside the 40, right around the 38 yard line. A 40 yard uh, punt. Yeah, for the Grizzlies. Hey coach, coming up Bearcat Halftime Show. We look forward to this every year. Uh, we're gonna have the little ones making their way up here from Bearcat Youth Football, and uh, We'll have an opportunity to, to hear some uh, pretty interesting comments from the youngsters. Yeah, I might turn this one over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, I got a fluid screen printing scoreboard update for you. Fire away. A Royal Grande, 14, Lompoc, 0, second quarter. Okay, Bearcats, 4-2, look, big blitz coming, picked up. That slant, <laughs> complete. And right up go. the pipe. Right up the gut, and there goes that speed. 10-5. 
touchdown. And 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 they don't quit on that. Their wide receivers were sprinting to that get up Brown's and story. get through there. And he runs like a college wide receiver right there. And if he's 5'11", I'm 5'11". He looks 6'2". Coach, he is 6'2", because I'm 5'11", and I stood next to him in warm-ups. He's taller than I am. And I will say this again. The quarterback, we blitzed, and he threw the ball, as Chris Collingsworth says every Sunday night, into the teeth of the blitz, where the blitz came from. And just, I'll, I'll be honest, our secondary kids can't tackle their wide receivers. Coach, you know who's playing this Sunday night, don't you? Snap down, kick up, and it is good. Who's playing this Sunday night? Packers your, your Packers and, and, the, and the Bears. The Bears. Bears. The Bears. 449 to go. Bearcats now down. 41 to nothing on the VOP Sports Network. Try H&R Block this tax season and pay half what you paid your other guy last year. That's expert tax prep and a maximum refund guaranteed for half the cost. Walk in or make an appointment at hrblock.com. Get your taxes won. Subject to $125 minimum charge. Last year's receipt required. Limited time offer. Participating locations only. Have tax questions? Visit any of your locally owned and operated San Luis Obispo County H&R Block locations and we'll get them answered for you. The Paso Rebels Daily News is Paso Rebels' most comprehensive newspaper and the home of the Paso Rebels Bearcats, featuring breaking sports news, events, politics, wine, and more from writers and photographers, newspapers, TV, radio, and online media covering Paso Rebels, Atascadero, Templeton, San Miguel, Shandon, Creston, and Heritage Ranch. If it's local, it's on Paso Rebels Daily News. Check it out today, PasoRebelsDailyNews.com. Welcome back to Bearcat Football here on the BOP Sports Network. Wiesner's going to fill this short kick at the 25, gets to the 30, knocked out of bounds. What are they going to say out here? And a little extra uh, activity going down there. And uh, if you're a Grizzly, you were surrounded by about 20 crimson jerseys. I, I would get out of there. He did. All right, ball up to the 33-yard line, so... Once upon a time, just like 10 minutes ago, it was 7 to nothing, and boom, 41 and, and, to nothing. And the, the key has been the turnovers. The two turnovers turned the game around immediately. It went from 7 to nothing to 20 to nothing in a, less than two minutes. Bonham and Marshall to the far sideline. Dowling and Wiesner as Bonham comes across the formation. They go that little trick around. They do it every time, and then they go to the handoff. And, Whoa. Oh, man, by the... That could have been close, Coach. Grabbing him by the neck and whipping him down was big. When I'm talking big, number 92, Javon Oliver, 6'5", 250. Yeah, and he may be more than 250. Yeah. He's more like 275. He swallowed him. Swallowed him. Second down and eight. Perez in at running back to the right. Waterman complete to Gallant. Not much there. He pulls it in at the 38. That'll set up a third down and five. And they continue to stay in their three-man front. They have three down linemen, two linebackers on the inside, two linebackers on the outside, four deep behind that, and they will change up from man-to-man -to, -man to zone. Right now they're in man press on the outside. They're man across the field. This is your shot right here. Shotgun formation. Perez to the right. They're blitz. going blitz. Here they come. Hand off right up the middle. Perez will be stopped. Yard gained to the 39. And uh, Jacob Jackson, their outside linebacker. That guy's a sophomore. 5'11", 215-pound sophomore starting. And he's good. He doesn't play like a sophomore coach. No, that was a very nice play. He did what's called scrape, and he comes at an angle and makes the tackle. Looked like we were going to get some good yards there, and he closed the door. All right, Reese Fay on for the punt. And once again, the Bearcats late getting a man, man. on the field. There's the snap. There's the flag. They're going to redo this one. Well, look I would, out, John I would, Doss. That almost hit you in the back of the head. I, I wouldn't redo it. They, uh, that was maybe a 15-yard punt. No, yeah, you're right. They won't redo it. Coach, I think you're being generous with the 15 yards. Huh. Did you no, see that, that coming that, to the that, back? Yeah. That was I a, ducked. That was a nine-yard punt. Yes, thank you. I ducked and tried to tell the cheerleaders that were nearby to get out of the way, and it almost took out the student section. 
Thanks to Slow Man, a fluid screen printing and scoreboard update at the half. AG 14, Lompoc nothing. I'm surprised AG's put the clamps on that offense. They looked so good last week against Bishop Diego. Coleman running wild. Okay, and uh, you know, poor special units situation there. Yeah, you got a guy a great on late. Field position. Here you go, three thirteen to go. And, and look out, Hopkins. Yeah, looking for him running deep, deep ball right off the bat. And, and Bearcats late again coming on the field. Blitz. Garcia coming and thrown right into the blitz to the 40, 35, Another first down, down at the thirty-two yard line. Tompkins, uh, very poised. See Garcia, yeah. nobody blocked him, but he swung the back. He knew that Garcia was blitzing. There would be nobody to pick up the back. Calmly dumped the yeah. ball. And calmly caught it and did a nice job running after the catch with the football. And this is no huddle. They, they're they calling the plays at the line of scrimmage and Tompkins. rapidly. Uh -oh. Here he goes. Big hole up the middle. Cuts it back. And this time the Bearcats able to contain him, but he picked up eight inside the 25 to the 24. And when I say for one, contain eight yards. Yeah. The rest of them were 15, 20 yard runs. Uh, he's over 80 yards. Yeah, and, and, and they're the right half. back up there. I don't know how they call the plays, but they're right now. They know what they're doing. Back to Same back. play the other side. Wings it out. Pulls it in at the 30. <sighs> nice move. 10, 5. Here comes uh, we the got flag a flag touchdown. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a block in the back, maybe down there, guys. <laughs> Jimmy, let, let me do this. The Bearcats blitzed from their from the uh, Grizzlies' left side. Same blitz they ran on the right side earlier. Same play. He just looked the blitz guy right in the face and calmly dumped the ball to the swing man. I mean, that's that's well coached. It was a hold, boys. Hold. Thank you, uh, Tim. Stewart. Yeah, and that's a spot foul. So it's still a first down. I don't know why everybody's walking way back here. Now that is the referee who spotted the ball. Ball should be at about the 17 yard line, if I'm correct. I can hear Tim Stewart yelling at his gang down there. Get it going here. Okay, Jimmy, we got 220 to go here, yeah. down 41 to nothing, and yeah. they're trying to knock another one yeah, in. They're inside that Bearcat tri chip red zone at the 17 yard line. Trips right. Tompkins steps up, throws, touchdown. And, and any time they want to run a, something into the middle of the field, there's Lemons absolutely that, that, nobody the there. He just splits him, just splits him. Thompson took a couple steps to his left, turned back to his right, and rifled his skinny post right there. And the safeties just jump off the middle and go to the outside, and they get beat inside. 47 to nothing. And Aquavis has had a busy night, Coach, kicking uh, extra points. He's missed one. It's the only one he's missed all year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bad snap. Got it down. And it's right through the uprights. 2.05 to go first half. Bearcats down 48 to nothing. Right here on the BOP Sports Network. Fluid Screen Printing knows the importance of first impressions. Your logo on shirts, caps, jackets, and more tells the world your business has arrived. Fluid Screen Printing makes VOP swag pop. Let Fluid Screen Printing assure the first time people see your business name is a memorable occasion. Fluid Screen Printing, call 805-610-5778 or find them on Facebook. Fluid Screen Printing. Passerables Country Disposal supports the Passerables Bearcats. Passerables Country Disposal is dedicated to environmentally sound solutions for its residents' solid waste management needs. Family owned and operated for three generations, where sustainability and safety are paramount. Passerables Country Disposal. Call 238-2381, located at 2951 Wallace Drive, Passerables, or visit countrydisposal.com. Pass Robles, country disposal. All right, back here on the BOP Sports Network. High on over a king. Magalona will field it at the middle of the field at the 15. Still on his feet, brought down at the 31 yard line. Johnny, I want to remind you down there if you can come up at halftime and give me a hand if you don't mind with all the youngsters uh, coming up here to the booth. But that's far. <laughs> From their own 31 yard line. I tell you what, the mayor just left and he said. He's buying you a hamburger at Carl's after the game. Oh, okay. So well, in that, case, I can, in that case, I can come up there. <laughs> John works for food. Yep. John works for yeah. <laughs> Amen, Coach. Amen. All, all greyhounds do, Coach. Now, <laughs> now, 
I would just try to get out of here now. Run the ball. Garcia. Yeah. And he gets swallowed. Him. That big guy's raising hell in there. Boy, he's just sticking <laughs> his arms up, and it's like he's wanting yeah. to take your head off. Okay. Looking like Bubba Smith down here. 6'2", yeah. no 275, Coach. You're absolutely he right. He takes he is. a slow, uh, slow man, another uh, fluid screen pinning scoreboard update. Coach, Bishop Diego 13 to Pomo 7, second quarter. Whoa. A little flip there because it was 7 to nothing, Napomo. Centennial Bakersfield, 7. Rigetti, nothing. First quarter. Okay, Garcia again, nothing. And it's going to be third down and 10 with 118 to yeah, go. Yeah, and here. they replaced that giant with a guy that's only 6 feet, 250 pounds. And he's a sophomore. So third down, and they're milking that clock, Coach, down to a minute. And they've got some subs in here. I notice number two's out of the game. Maldonado in the uh, slot. Man-to-man -man defense. To the near sideline, Marshall to the far sideline. Pass off to Marshall, got down low, and he pulled it in. But short of the first down. Short of the first down, and timeout. Timeout. Who? It's going to be central. We'll take a break. 48 to nothing. Grizzlies on top of the Bearcats right here on the BOP Sports Network. Ron Mullen says, welcome to the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Real Estate Network. Ron is an agent representing one of the most dynamic real estate brands in the country where you can expect the utmost professionalism and dedication to all of your real estate needs. From your very first meeting to the final closing, Ron provides best-in-class service to help you buy or sell a home. Equipped with the finest tools and technology, he will guide you through the real estate transaction every step of the way. Buying or selling, when you need professional guidance and support in your real estate transaction, call Ron Mullins. Ron Mullins, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, 11th and Park in Paso Robles. Call 237-4700. That's 237-4700. Best in class service, professional guidance, and the finest tools and technology in the real estate business. Ron Mullins and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. When it comes to real estate, they're good to know. All right, Reese Bay on for the punt, Coach. 38 seconds to go after the timeout to stop the clock. Look out, he got it off. And another yeah. nice punt. No, not no, a nice actually, punt. <laughs> I, my vision got a little blurred there yeah. with my new glasses. Do so forgive me. we're going to call that 20, 28 yards. Halftime at Mission High School. Thank to Mike Mike Moreno sending in a score for oh, us. Oh, good to hear from Mike. Good to hear from Mike. Royals 19, Greenfield Bruins nothing. Well, good for the Royals. Is that, is that an eight-man game now? That's yeah, an eight-man game. Is that eight-man, John? For Mission Prep? He must have his headset. I lost. Yes, eight-man game. Hi, John. Now I see yeah, you. Now the Bearcats. Look at the look at the distance between the safeties, guys, in the middle of the field. Look at this. They're and look at number five. Field. And this one really, did, you know, there's a little bit of accidental contact. Yeah, and uh, that's a little. With Hunter and uh, number 24 on the coverage for the Bearcats, Coach. Can't see that number up there. That's really. Lear. Lear. He's got Nathan it. Lear. Thank you, John. So second down and 10, 26 seconds ago, first half. 48 nothing. Bearcats down. Back to pass, look, same play. Down the field, overthrew him this time. They're just practicing throwing the ball deep. It's Jeremy Kelly on the coverage. Third and ten. Coach Reynolds out almost to the numbers, talking to his safeties going, you know, you guys are way too far apart and giving up the center of the field. What are you doing? Yeah, it looks like they're in cover two, and normally you tell those guys to line up on, on the hash, and they're, they're not. <laughs> No, they're inside. Here we go. Tompkins pressured out of the pocket. Plenty of time. Steps up, throws across. Missed tackle. Pulled in by three, a missed tackle. And he fell short, down short of the first, of the first down. down. With uh, five seconds, and they're going to call a timeout with four seconds to go at the 49-yard line. It's going to be third down and two. Fourth down and two, that is. So, Coach. We'll keep it here. They'll take a timeout, and they'll do uh, Hail Mary here and try to add some more points to that. I, I, you know, this game started 
Nicely. Nicely for the Bears. Even Ooh. though, even though. Yeah, they got off to they eight, got off the, two, uh, plays, two plays. But we moved yards. the ball 50 yards and Twice. missed the field goal. And we missed, the, and we were down there once again yeah. and turned the ball over, so. The turnovers, in my opinion, were the key to the game. That flipped the game from a seven-point game to a 28-point game immediately. Well, great job tonight. Here before the half, I want to thank Bill for joining me once again. John down on the field along with Timmy Stewart and Dave Lambert up top. Okay, Bearcats in a prevent defense three deep. Tompkins back to pass. And Pressure they, they and got it. Down. Thank goodness. And 72 right there, Jose Torres. All right, all Jose. Over. That will end the first half with our score. 48 to nothing, the Grizzlies over to Bearcats. Halftime show coming up next right here on the BOP Sports Network. We depend on first responders when lives are threatened, but sometimes we're the ones who are first on the scene. That's when you're glad you were trained by the first name in CPR and first aid. Rob Derrick, CPR and first aid. Rob Derrick, CPR and first aid has trained more than 56,000 students. Highly professional, training with friendly support, old-fashioned courtesy, and personalized attention. That's Rob Derrick, CPR and first aid. Serving the training needs of companies from the Bay Area all the way to Ventura. Remember, when the next emergency happens, at home, on the job, or out in that great big world, you may be the first responder that saves a life. Be ready. Contact Rob Derrick, CPR and First Aid at 805-712-3681. That's 805-712-3681. Or find them on Facebook. When an emergency strikes, be ready. Be trained by the first name in CPR and First Aid. Rob Derrick, CPR and First Aid. Pass Robles Country Disposal supports the Pass Robles Bearcats. Pass Robles Country Disposal is dedicated to environmentally sound solutions for its residents' solid waste management needs. Family owned and operated for three generations where sustainability and safety are paramount. Pass Robles Country Disposal. Call 238-2381 located at 2951 Wallace Drive, Pass Robles or visit countrydisposal.com. Pass Robles Country Disposal. In a world without wires, are you in control? Phones, fleet communications, employee contacts? KG Communications masters your wireless world. They make it work. They make it simple. World-class, hassle-free. Phones, fleet, even remote dispatch and data collection. Master your wireless world with KG Communications. Call 844-KG-COM. Visit kgcom.net or find us on Facebook. Keeping you connected in a wireless world. KG Communications. You scream, I scream, we all scream for, well, you know what comes next. Cold Stone Creamery in downtown Paso Robles, where we all scream for design your own creations, hand mixed on a granite slab, plus shakes, cakes, and a whole lot more. And we make our ice cream fresh in the store every day. Go to Cold Stone Creamery, 832 11th Street, downtown Paso Robles, where you'll find the very best ice cream and screaming, well, it's not really required. Cold Stone Creamery, 832 11th Street, Paso Robles. All right, 48 to nothing at the half. Grizzlies over the Bearcats. We'll take another break when we come back. The Bearcat Halftime Show. We got some youth football players from Paso Robles joining us. Don't miss it. That's coming up next. What kind of fitness fits you? Weight training? Sure. State-of-the-art machines? Of course. But Kennedy Club Fitness offers more, like group programs, aquatics, racquetball, personal trainers, even a kids' club. Kennedy Club Fitness fits the fitness goals of more than 17,000 members in Paso Robles, Atascadero, San Luis Obispo, and Arroyo Grande. So no matter what fitness fits you, Kennedy Club Fitness can help you make it happen. And membership provides access to all facilities in all cities, plus members-only events, specials, and discounts. Kennedy Club Fitness in Arroyo Grande, San Luis Obispo, Atascadero, and at 500 South River Road in Paso Robles. Find out more at KennedyClubs.com. What kind of fitness fits you? Kennedy Club Fitness, proud sponsor of sports broadcasts on the VOP, the voice of Paso. All righty, welcome back to Bearcat Football. It's time for the halftime show. John, you made it got up Got my work out here, Coach. Come on over, guys. We got, got, we got our in. endless uh, array of we're going to give him the mic, and Johnny's going to turn it on. And, uh, yeah, we're good. We're going to have our halftime score. Uh, halftime score is 48 to nothing. 
And uh, we got some youngsters coming in. So, guys, oh boy. what you're going to do is just make sure you hold the mic right up to the mouth, right up to your mouth real close, and we'll ask you some questions. So, John, I'll let you go first. All right. So, first of all, who are you? What's your name? My name is Brandon. All right, Brandon, what team do you play for? 805 Bearcats. So, is that intermediate or juniors? Intermediate. That's intermediate. All right. Who's your favorite football player? Um, I'm not sure. All right. Who's your favorite football team? Rams. Rams. Okay. All right, Jim, you got a question for him? Hey, uh, who's your coach? Um. Liggy can't remember his coach. He's nervous. John, Jason Johnson. Jason right. Johnson, Coach Johnson. Okay. Did you ask what division he played in? I did. He's junior. Right. I was oh, well, I'm losing yep. my mind. All okay. right, let's go. Go to the next man. Hand the mic. Good job. Good man, you're tall. You can come play basketball on my team. How's that sound? What's your name, young man? My name's Gabriel Ahumada. All right, Gabriel, who do you play for? I play for Intermediate 805 Bearcats. 805 Bearcats, what's your position? I play D end. Defensive right, end? And right, ta uh, right tackle. Okay, what? Do you like offense or defense better? I, I like defense. You like defense? Why? Because like like, he likes to hit people. I've watched people, him play before, why. Mr. Ahumada. I've been the PA guy in Templeton. I've had to learn how to say his name. Who's your favorite player, NFL? Um, from back then, I like Charles Woodson. Okay, okay. all yeah. right, all right. All right. We'll and take for it. right now, I like Cleo Mack. Oh, all right, okay. He should have gone to my Packers, though. Yeah. Hey, good luck the rest of the season. All right, guys, as we get done with you, filter out so we can bring no. in the next crowd. Switch. Right, hey, right. I recognize this one. What hat's he got on? He got a Bearcat on. He That's does. Right. This is number, young number 20. Tell us your name, young man. Get that microphone close up there. Vincent. All right. Vincent Vin what? Bill and Jerry. Vin okay. Okay. What position do you play? Quarterback and middle linebacker. Quarterback and a middle linebacker. Ooh, there you go. There we go. Who do you play for? Bearcats. Bearcats. What division? Up uh, Bantam. What do you like best about playing youth football? Is because you get to tackle. You get to tackle people. You get nice. to tackle. You get to hit people. Do you there like you getting hit? Yeah. You do. So you like the contact of it. Who's your coach? My dad. Um. Uh, Say hi Tim, to your Tim Burl and Jerry. There you go. Now you got to say hello to your mom if you're going to say hi. Got to say dad. hi to mom if you say hi to dad. Your dad and you got so say hi, say hi, mom. Say hi, mom in heaven then. Hi. There, there you go. Because mom's watching and listening right now. Absolutely. Because we are internet radio and we go everywhere. We so go everywhere. Up there too. Who's your yeah. who's your who's, who's your, your favorite, favorite football player? Who's your favorite football player? Um, Derek Carr. Derek Carr, Derek favorite Carr. team. Raiders. The Raiders. All right. Like it. All right. He's Sweet. Back. Good All job. Right. Young number 57, go ahead, John. What's your name? Aiden. Aiden, what team do you play for? Um, Bearcats. All right, what division? Bantams? Um, Bantam. Bantams. Okay. Who's your favorite football player? Um, Odell. Odell, okay. You what do you call him up and ask him for a raise on your allowance since he got the big contract? Yeah. Uh, He's making yeah. a lot of money. He could at least give you, you know, 5 or $10, right? All right, so what position do you play? Um, often guard okay. and often defensive line. Defensive line. Which one do you like more, offense um, or defense? Defense, why? Why do you like to play defense? Because you get to have the, because you get to run the ball. You th oh, okay, nice. All right. You Who's your favorite football team? Um, Giant Bearcats. There, there you yeah, go. go. Thank Perfect. You, Good luck. Good the rest job. Of the year. All right. Who do we got next? Uh oh. Chicago Bulls fan. Uh -oh. Definitely here. All right. What's your name? You want to go shout out, uh, Go Bulls? Yeah. Always. Uh, my name is Damon. Damon. Jun I'm in the junior division what, of... What's your Cri last name? Gian Mitchell. Okay, there okay. you go. Okay. All right, so you play in the juniors division of Bearcats? Crimson. Crimson, okay. What position do you play? Uh, defensive end and running back. All right, which one do you like more? Defensive end. Why? You get to hit people. You get to hit people? Yeah. You get to hit That's people. That's always the fun part about no, playing it, it defense. Is. Who's your favorite NFL player or college player? In history? No. When, whenever. 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 Um, yeah. I mean, you're not that old, so you don't have that long a history, but uh, you've been looking at YouTube. Jerry Rice. Jerry oh, Rice, good go. choice. Good, good, pick. good choice. Bearcats. Oh, what about an NFL? 49ers. There you go. All 49ers. right, all right. Get out of here. All right, all right, pass the microphone luck. down. He's That's getting right. booed. I like all right, this. We got, we got the rest. Is that a zero? That is a zero. zero? I like, I like that it. one. All right, so what's your young man? My name's Blaine Lowry. 
Oh, oh, okay. Lowry. We know, okay, yeah. What position do you play for a play, and who do you play for? Uh, the Crimson Bearcats. So juniors? Juniors? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and, what uh, position do you play? What position? Uh, I play running back, defensive end, re re wide receiver, and linebacker. Okay, out of all those four, which is your favorite? Running back. Running back. Why? Cause Why? Because you get to truck people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that answer. Who's your favorite player? Uh, Antonio Brown. Oh, okay. Antonio Brown. All right. The list. So he's got. Team? So he's got an end zone dance then. So are you a Steeler? You fan? got an end zone dance? You're a Steeler yeah. fan? Yeah. Do you right. have an end zone dance? <laughs> well, we're not allowed to do it. Oh, but you I have one it? though. No. If you wait, have hold on, wait. One, can you show these guys? Do you have <laughs> one? In, yes, do you on, have man. one in practice? Uh -oh. Do you have you have one in practice though? The camera's not there. Yeah. Okay. So if we can come and like do one of your games and broadcast it and stuff like that, and you score a touchdown and like after the game, can we see your end zone dance? Wait, no. Wait, like after when yeah, I score after a touchdown? The, yeah, after, after the, the game. game's over. Can we see so your you end zone dance? Trouble. Yeah. All right, perfect. All right, thank All right. you, buddy. Look at your Sweet. Some All right. Number three, your name, young man. My name is Talon Freitas. Okay. Okay. Uh, related to George and Vince and uh, the Brady yes. Sound, All right. Like the what position do you play and who do you play for? I play a quarterback and defensive end, and I play for the Bearcats, yeah, junior. You know, taking after his dad who yeah. played quarterback in high school, right? I believe your dad you played quarterback in high school. No, my dad didn't play football. Did, uh, uh, did, did, you, on wrong. did do you like playing quarterback more or do you like playing defense more? Um, I like them both. I don't you like doing I both? Like okay. All right. All right. All right. Who's your favorite NFL player? Uh, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. So are you a Seahawks fan? Yeah. Yes. Okay. He's also a Wisconsin that, Badger. That's, yeah. He's so a that's Badger, right. so okay. I'll give you credit on that. Why do you like right. playing football? Um, I like, wait, what? Why, Why do, you, do you like playing football? Oh, because I mean, you get a uh, truck people <laughs> and throw deep go. passes and let them score. Now, do you have an end zone dance? Uh, yeah. You do? Whose yeah. is better? Mine. Yours is Yours better? Is better. Yeah. All right, we may have to have a dance-off. Yeah, well, we, we may got, have to have we one of those. we got to have the camera down here. We'll, we'll, we can judge. make that work. Mine's kind of like the Cam Newton LeBron James. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I like it. Ooh, this could get good, Jim. Get we could good. have some fun with this. All right, get out of here. All right. Go, the next guy. Go Take guys. Guy. All right, number Hello, 13. Hello, young man, number 13. What's your name? My name's Connor Martinez. Hello, Mr. Martinez. How are you doing this evening? Good. Are you nervous? Yeah, kind of. Why? I don't know. Why? There's no ca video cameras. So you're just talking. You're just talking and having fun. Who what? do you play for and uh, what play, position? I play for the Bearcats and I play safety. Safety. Ooh. Ooh now. So he likes to fly around and hit you people. You like to fly around? I mean, yeah. what, why do you like playing safety? You get to fly around, but you're like the center fielder in baseball too, right? Because I get to um, hurt people without getting in trouble. <laughs> I'm keeping Mr. Martinez on my team. He's on <laughs> mine. I'm picking him. Say, he likes I'm to get physical him. with people. I'm picking Mr. Pick, Martinez. Yeah, I'm picking. He's who's on my your, team. Who's your favorite player? Uh, Antonio. No, um, Odell Beckham. But I don't like. I don't like the Giants. I like the Eagles. Why doesn't anybody okay, like Aaron right. Rodgers? Or yeah, what's going on? Yeah, here? yeah, yeah. You move on. Yeah, move so, on. Okay. I like that one. All right. So right. He likes to play safety because he gets to get he gets to get people. I like it. Give it to All the right. rock star here. What's uh -oh. happening, man? All right. So what's your name? This kid before, haven't we? Yes. My name is Vincent Palmer. All right, Mr. Palmer. What position do you play? I play running back and linebacker. All right. Which play one? Do you, Matthews, man. Which Look one do you like more? I got the hair already. Which one do you like more, linebacker or running back? Um, I like running back better. Why? Because you get to make touchdowns. Oh, okay. Do you have a touchdown dance? Yes. Okay. Can I see it real quick? No. No. <laughs> He's keeping that one secret for the dance off. See, they've all heard. They're starting to words starting to filter. So, who's your favorite player? Odell Beckham. Jr. Odell Beckham. So, and your favorite team? I like the New York. You I like, like the Giants. You like the Giants? Okay. You could have said Bearcats. You know, not one cowboy fan. Hey, that's okay. Fan. That's I, that, my I'm brother, a group. My brother likes the Packers. There see you go. The, there yeah, right. see, there you go. All right. All right. Thank you, thank sir. You, buddy. We'll see you again soon, I'm sure. All right. All right. And number 15. Who we got now? Stepping up. What's your name, young man? Otto Dodd. Otto, I like that name. I like it. I like oh, what it. position do you play? Center and corner. Which one do you like more? Corner. Why? Because you get to hit people? She can make tackles. Oh, Center's okay. tough, though, because you got to. Head up, keep the ball down, timing and everything, isn't it? It's a difficult position to play. That's a hard on the one. Offensive line. Why? Why do you like playing football? 
It's a way to have fun. Have have kindness to your teammates. Ah, okay. All right. Who's your favorite player? I don't have a favorite player. You don't have a favorite player? What's your favorite team? You have a favorite Cats. team? Bearcats? All right, that's a good one to have. Yeah. I like it. He you likes to a, make tackles. Your NFL? You got an NFL favorite team? No. Yeah. You got a favorite team at all? Anybody? Baseball, basketball, hot, nothing? Nope. All right. All right. Well, we got a couple more. We got a few more, so Come on. thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll kidnap this uh, one. And this we'll is from the legendary Montero uh -oh. family. Yeah, I know, who the, I know this one. I got one, a Montero playing got, quarterback. All so. right, so. Um, no, first of all, my question is, is how does it feel to have a grandpa like the legendary Chris Montero? Because when they made him, they threw away the mold. You got to put that mic up close. There you go. Uh, it's awesome having He's a great grandpa. He's It teaches me everything he knows. Um I don't know. He's just amazing to have hey, around. He's just all fun the time. to be around because he yeah. speaks his mind, right? Yeah. There's no in between. <laughs> yeah. He lets you know straight out what's going on. Uh huh. 100. Right, and to well, me, the, and to me, the best part about Grandpa is he tried to run him over earlier this week yeah. with his truck. Yeah, you really And it was fantastic because he almost fell off. It was, yeah, it was hilarious. That would have been really funny. Yeah. So. See, there Gee, you go. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> one of my list. So, so what's your name? Uh, Ty Montero. Ty Montero. Okay, Ty. Quarterback. Quarterback. For. Senior Bearcats. Senior Bearcats. Yeah. Why do you like playing quarterback? Um, it's just a challenge. You have to. It's not just going out there and play football. You got to bring everyone together. You know, act, you have to be. You have to start the family and build each other up, and that's what it's all about. There you go. Who's your, uh, you know, I'm going to ask you this question, but I probably already. Who's your favorite NFL team? Yeah, I knew the Raiders was. He knew it was the Raiders, but I, who's your favorite player? Derek Carr. Ah, okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Montero. Is that is that one still going? Did I got it. Yeah, the drop button? for there a second. Go. There it goes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fifty two. Last man. We got a lineman. Look out, man. You're you're in line here now. For the what's your name, young man? Uh, Leo Kemp. Leo, good to meet you, buddy. How you doing tonight? Uh, pretty good. Could be different on the scoreboard right now. It'd be nice. That it? would be. Yeah, nice. I wish we were. The scores were flopped a little bit. That's a. Uh, that would be nice. A pretty big looking group yeah, of young men over there. From they've the got a few big O linemen. They got a few big linemen. Okay. What position do you play and what team do you play for? Uh, right guard and defensive tackle, right. and I play for the Senior Bearcats. Senior Bearcats. Uh, like offense or defense better? Uh, I like defense a lot. Um, I just really like just looking for the ball. That's really fun. Who's your coach? Uh, Matt Montero and Adrian Pennywell. There you go, Matt. Chris and, 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 and AJ. Yeah, who's, AJ. Yeah. Uh, who's your favorite NFL team? Um, I don't have one. You don't have one? No, I'm a college kind of guy. Okay, right, well, so there you go. Who, who's your, there who's you your go. college? A U different. USC. Oh, you're a Trojan fan. Yeah. They going to win this Leo, we were going to be we, we were going to be friends and yeah. everything. They going to be Stanford <laughs> or what? We want to uh, know. I don't know. I think USC's going to I think it's going to put it on him. Mark that oh, down, John. Yeah. Okay, Leo to took USC. I'm right now. Okay, yeah, I got yeah, that. Yeah. I'll tell coach. <laughs> As of so, who's your favorite player? Whether it's college, pro, anybody. Um, I don't really I'm really excited to see our new quarterback, JT Daniels, JT Daniels out of modern day, this year, yeah. But I don't have a favorite, You're not a favorite? favorite play okay. this year. That's all right, though. I'm, I'm excited to see JT and what he brings to the table as well. Yeah. So that's a good choice. It's going to be uh, fun. All right, is. man. Thanks. All right, Thank sweet. you much. We got anybody else? No, nope. we got anybody else? Are we gonna quick? are we gonna bring yeah. in any of the coaches? We're bringing you know. the prez. Oh, we're bringing in the yeah, president. Yeah, uh oh. You know he made his debut the other night. He did. He, he, I he, heard. He's not camera shy. Anymore. He's not camera shy at I all. I told him five minutes, and he did a solid five <laughs> okay, minutes. Okay, wait. So, so can we ask him the same questions? <laughs> <laughs> What's your position, and who do you play for? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I have been asked if I get paid to do this. The answer is no. <laughs> no, you are a volunteer. It's a well, nonprofit hey, we organization. We know how that feels. <laughs> Who's your favorite football team? You know, I'm not really an NFL guy. Okay. I'm more of a college guy. Favorite college, well, then? Introduce yourself to everybody. Oh, no. Who are you first? Are Let's you? go with that. My name's Evan Maronis. I'm the president of there National Bulls Football and Cheer. There um, we go. And my favorite football team is Boise State. Oh, oh all right. All right. You got an NFL favorite team? Not really. I used to like the Broncos when I was a kid because I was a John Elway fan. All right. All right. I just got to have a question. What's up with the Smurf turf? That's all I want to know for Boise State and the oh, blue turf. Know, it, I mean. Yeah. It, uh, I'd love to. I'd, the goal is to go there one day. The goal point. is to go there one day? Okay. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, we'll see. I've seen a game on the blue turf, and it's interesting in person. Right. What you see on TV is pretty much what you get, and it's <laughs> interesting. You're trying to find the ball, and you're like, this color is wrong, but <laughs> it works. So, okay. No, it's, right. it's awesome. Um, where are you guys at this weekend? Yeah, so we have, we're have we hosting this weekend at Pass Robles High School. We okay. have home games at 9, 11, 1, and 3. So uh, we'll have a Bantam, Junior, 
intermediate and our senior team will be there. Nice. Uh, okay. Senior team will be playing at Tascadero. Uh, this this rivalry. Saturday. So uh, see, it starts in youth rivalry, too. Rivalry game. Yes. There you so. go. All right. All right. Hey, well, thanks for bringing the kids up. Yeah, we appreciate we'll it. See hey. you Wednesday night again. All right. Sure. All right. Absolutely. Thanks, yeah. Come on by. Let us know how it's all going. Woo. We got, is that right, everybody? That, that is everybody. We got them all? Hey, look, the legendary Lauren Prowse. Uh-oh. <laughs> and Audrey Prowse, look and out. Audrey's look. coming to kick me. All right, we'll She's take a break. Uh, John, get me some oxygen. We did Oxygen? Out. Okay, yeah, I'm going to work on that. Uh, Bearcats down at the half, 48 to nothing. More coming your way right after these on the BOP Sports Network. In a world without wires, are you in control? Phones, fleet communications, employee contacts? KG Communications masters your wireless world. They make it work. They make it simple. World-class, hassle-free. Phones, fleet, even remote dispatch and data collection. Master your wireless world with KG Communications. Call 844-KG-COM. Visit kgcom.net or find us on Facebook. Keeping you connected in a wireless world. KG Communications. You scream, I scream, we all scream for, well, you know what comes next. Cold Stone Creamery in downtown Paso Robles, where we all scream for design your own creations, hand mixed on a granite slab, plus shakes, cakes, and a whole lot more. And we make our ice cream fresh in the store every day. Go to Cold Stone Creamery, 832 11th Street, downtown Paso Robles, where you'll find the very best ice cream and screaming, well, it's not really required. Cold Stone Creamery, 832 11th Street, Paso Robles. What kind of fitness fits you? Weight training? Sure. State-of-the-art machines? Of course. But Kennedy Club Fitness offers more, like group programs, aquatics, racquetball, personal trainers, even a kid's club. Kennedy Club Fitness fits the fitness goals of more than 17,000 members in Paso Robles, Atascadero, San Luis Obispo, and Arroyo Grande. So no matter what fitness fits you, Kennedy Club Fitness can help you make it happen. And membership provides access to all facilities in all cities, plus members-only events, specials, and discounts. Kennedy Club Fitness in Arroyo Grande, San Luis Obispo, Atascadero, and at 500 South River Road in Paso Robles. Find out more at KennedyClubs.com. What kind of fitness fits you? Kennedy Club Fitness, proud sponsor of sports broadcasts on the VOP, the voice of Paso. Hi, Chef Nicola here from uh, Mistura Restaurant and uh, my beautiful wife, Jacqueline. Hello, we would like to welcome you to Mistura. The term Mistura condenses the essence of Peru, a reflection of their people, a marvelous mix of cultures that embodies the country's vibrant cuisine. At Mistura, we use only sustainable ingredients, from free-range meats, fresh seafood, to organic products locally grown. We invite you to Mistura for a new and exciting culinary experience. Mistura also offers the perfect outdoor venue, a lake surrounded with lush gardens for your wedding or your next special event. Come and enjoy our amazing farm-to-table fair. Mistura is located at 700 Clubhouse Drive in Paso Robles at the River Oaks Golf Course, or you can call 805-238-3333 for reservations. For a new and exciting culinary experience, discover Peru, discover Mistura. There's an art to living a fulfilling life. In fact, art is the secret. Join Jill Thayer, PhD, every Friday morning between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. to hear reports about local art, artists, and life. The Art of Life on The Voice of Paso with Jill Thayer, PhD. Check it out. Tell a friend. You're not just listening to another radio station. You're on the VOP. All right, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that halftime show where we uh, had an opportunity to talk to Evan Moronis, the uh, president of the Youth Football League, and also to a lot of the young men that are playing in the Youth Football League, Coach, from, from the little guys all the way up to the senior division. So uh, uh, nobody was a Packer or Cowboy fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can so, understand that. So John and I were a little bit dis disappointed. I have the halftime stats. I'm downloading them right now, Coach. Uh, we'll have them for you in a in a moment. But 48 to nothing, and great 
great first quarter. The You know, they scored the first two plays. Then the Bearcats took the ball and took control of the game and moved the ball down, missed a field goal. A little bit of back and forth. They drove the ball 93 yards, 14 to nothing, and then the roof fell in. A couple of quick turnovers. They scored twice within about a minute and 30 seconds, and it went from 7 to nothing to 27 to nothing in, in a blink of an eye. And then... Another turnover, and they and then they just their passing game has been on the money. This young man has thrown the ball deep, and their receivers are fast, and they are stronger than our kids in the secondary, and they're breaking tackles, and that's the difference in the football game right now. All right, second half, getting ready to start. Once again, great job upstairs by Dave Lambert. With the live stream, we got to get him a raise, don't we, Coach? Indeed. Indeed. Hey, hey, can I say something about youth yeah. football? Go. You know, I look back at playing football, and I played nine years of organized football, and I was 11 years old. That was the best football experience I ever had as far as fun. And, you know, you can say all you want about football, this and that, but uh, I look back at that, and that is a fond, fond memory. Cougars, Westchester played LA oh, football. Oh, the Cougars. You know what my name? We were the Comets. That was a high school. I was a comments. Oh, yeah. You're the comments in high school, really. Maldonado takes the opening kickoff to start second half. Gets up to the 30. Once again, text lines open 805-769-0126. If uh, you would like to uh, send in a text question. Now let's check with Johnny and see if they're going to run that clock the entire uh, second half here with these guys up 48 to nothing. Yes, sir. They are. Okay. They are. Thank you, John. And I see out there they've made a couple changes on the defensive line, but their linebackers are the same, and it looks like the secondary is the same. Coach, you want to look at the okay. total offensive yard situation there? <laughs> is it? Okay. He can't play. He's ineligible for two weeks. Fumble. Yeah. Um, Garcia in trouble, trouble on the fumble. Not much there. And Garcia. Coach... <laughs> Having to deal with a Bearcat fan. Yeah, yeah, just answering questions. Uh, John, I don't know if you heard it. Coach did well. Coach gets a grade. I heard hey. Coach. I absolutely heard him. Coach, I was going to let you give the total yeah, offensive yeah. yards. Uh, we have 122 yards in total offense, and believe it or not, they had 441 in one half. Wow. When's the last time we see numbers like that? Never. Fly sweep. Bottom. Not much there. Got to the 16. It'll be third down and about 13. And that's Noah Gonzalez there. And what he does, when you have a sweep, somebody's got to force it to the inside. You want to fill with the middle linebackers. You've got to force it, fit it, and fill it. So the force comes inside from the linebackers, and that was a fill job right there by the safety. Just coming up, nobody blocking him. Make tackle at the line of scrimmage. Third double down, slot here, Jimmy. 13, double slot formation. Garcia out of the backfield. Looking for the screen. Looking for Wiesner. Waterman throws. Ooh, Ooh dangerous pass. Was yeah. that a catch? That was a great catch by Levi Marshall. But short of the first down, he picked up five. Is there a flag? Yes, there is down on the field. It's a chop block against the Bearcats. So you think they just decline this and let the Bearcats punt? Uh, the no. no. No, chop block. That's 15-yard yeah. penalty. That'd take them half the distance to the goal. No, they, gonna, they are going to decline it. Coach, I got one right today. Yeah, yeah. Every once yeah. in a while, right? So Every once in a while, I say a dog has its day, but Johnny, I love you too much. Bearcats send out the punting team here. And for them, number 13, Conley is back, who is very dangerous back there. And let's see whether they use a hold up or a rush situation here. Reese Bay back to punt at his own 19. Conley at the 30. They got a hold up. And short end over end punt and good bounce. Good bounce for the Bearcats, and it's going to be down at the 32 yard line. And the clock, they stopped the clock nope, right now. No, they're not. They're well, going to let it run. They're going to let it run. They, they, they didn't stop it. I'll, I'll let you have another bite there, Coach, but while, while you're enjoying that, I want you to chew on this question, okay? What did J.R. Reynolds tell his squad at halftime in the locker room? And I don't know if you've ever been behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, what, not never like that. But but what, what, what do you talk to your Win team about? the second half. I've been behind 28 to nothing. Win the second half. Win the second half. Win each down. 
Hopkins back to pass, slant. And, and I don't understand complete. this for the life of me. Why is he in the game? Now, it's not my place to criticize people, but you're putting that guy at risk. This is a championship quality team, not only a CIF, but possibly a state qualifier. And you're putting one of the best kids in the state at risk, playing him in a game that is over. Yeah, bring in your backup, gain a little experience. 48 to nothing, 7.59 to go third quarter, right up the gut. Big hole. And grabbed from behind, but still moving forward past midfield at the 49-yard line. You're not going to tackle anybody by grabbing your jersey in that case. And that's a gain of 17 and a first down. Yeah, Coach, I agree with you. I have no idea why he is still in the football game. That's their first string running back running the ball right there. Now they've made a change, number 12. Heyman is in at running back, a junior. Back to pass, hitch. Complete, pass the 40 and another first down. Johnny, you're breaking up just a little bit, just letting you know. Thank I'm, you. I'm keeping you on. I don't know what happened to Tim. I hope he's okay. He's waving at us. He's is fine. He? All right, he's fine. Guys, I, I I am quite frankly shocked at this. I really am. That they are throwing the ball in this situation. He's back to throw and he's Again, gunning it. Complete to the 35. Receiver comes backwards. Now here comes the flag. It's going to be a face mask. I do believe. Are they going to call a hold on? Or a three? block in the uh, Maybe a block in the back. Bill? Bill? We got you. T yeah. Oh, they're waving it off. Uh, why are they? Why were they throwing the ball with uh, calling timeout when it's 48 to nothing before the half? Too, I, I don't get this. We have, Tim. We have no idea why they're doing this. And, and like I said, I'm shocked this kid's in the game. And I'm shocked they're throwing the ball. You know, uh, just kind of listening over here and stuff. It's Hand almost off. like they're padding their stats. Up to the 28. Close well, Jim, I don't know if you heard it. They had 441 yards in the first half. How much stats do you really need? Well, that's true. <laughs> So third down and one. Uh, they, they got it at the 29. They need to get to the 28. Six minutes to go. Continuous clock the rest of this ball game. Play action. Back to pass. Hopkins rolling out. It's going to run with the football. Look at that. 20, 15, 10, 5. And then he makes contact. and goes out of bounds. But once again, you know, great athlete, great kid. But you're risking him having something happening. Yeah, yeah. and he's a macho dude. I mean, He's not running out of bounds. He's seeking contact. He is a fullback playing quarterback. 200-pound guy. One shot to the knee, coach. One shot to the knee is all it takes. Yep. Fade. Timing pattern. Touchdown. Coach, got it. Touchdown. And it's just a physical mismatch back there. Their receiver is six foot one, more like six foot three, and our DB is listed at five seven. I, 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 uh, I, I, don't, I don't know about nothing. That. Yeah, I don't know. Now remember, first quarter, it was 7-0. Seven 7-0 nothing. Seven nothing in the first quarter. And they scored 41 points in the second quarter. I think I, I've done this. I coached for 40 years, and I've been doing this with you for how many years? Nearly 10 and extra points, good. Jimmy, 7 or 8, and, and I've never seen a team score 41 points in a quarter. Nope. Not in a half. In People the in the quarter. 55 to nothing. We'll take a break here on the BOP Sports Network. If you haven't heard about Nino's in downtown Templeton, then listen up. Nino's Grill is the newest and hottest family grill in the North County, where you can catch your favorite sports on one of their eight big screens, either inside or out. Nino's Grill offers an array of mouth-watering smoke cuts, like prime rib on the weekends. Every bit of the menu at Nino's is delicious, and they have something for everyone. So get your weekend started at Nino's Grill in downtown Templeton with live music every Friday and Saturday night. They are featuring your favorite local musicians. So come on over and experience the local lifestyle at Nino's Grill in downtown Templeton, open Tuesday through Sunday. And check them out on Facebook. All right, here we are with the kickoff after the touchdown. Magalona's going to field it at the 10. 55 0. Grizzlies on top. Magnola got past the 25 to the 27.
Gentlemen, I got a scoreboard update for you from Fluid Screen Printing. Fire away, John. Centennial leads Spaghetti 14-7 at the half. Wow, there you go. Templeton, well, Templeton leads Santa Paula 23-0 at the half. Upset. Over Lock Poke 14-3 third Santa Gosh, Maria. You're, you're breaking up a little bit there, Johnny. I know. I moved towards you guys. Santa Maria 20, Golden Valley 12, second quarter. Pioneer Valley leads Cabrillo 22 to nothing at the half. Second quarter, Bakersfield Christian 17-10 over St. Joe. Back to you guys. Wow. Okay, now they have their second defense in. Their starting linebackers and starting D-line are out. And it doesn't make any difference. No, handoff, and yeah. Big loss there, a loss of four. Magalona couldn't get around the corner. So here's their second string guy, number 46, Cameron Vaughn, defensive lineman, 6'2", 215, ran down the running back from behind. Coach, I got a surprise score for you. Bishop Diego over Napomo, 34 to seven, second Ooh. quarter. Wow. Thank you, John. Pass oh. incomplete. Nearly intercepted. Nearly intercepted. Maldonado was the intended, recept uh, intended receiver. Uh, Grayson, though, uh, comes up with that ball. He's got six, six easy. Yeah, a little crossing route there between the two receivers, and the ball was out in front and tipped and nearly tipped to the DB. So here's another punt, Jimmy. No, well, actually, Coach, third down. Oh, it's third down. 14. Excuse me. Excuse me. And they, right. Now they're in that inverted wishbone. Did they bring in Brumley? Yes, they did. Brumley hands it off. A high snap. Sweep around the corner and good speed and recovery for the defense. Near the original line of scrimmage on the run was Perez. Yeah, and it's Fourth Trent Grayson, their safety coming up, Jim. And again, the, the force fit and fill, the fill situation by their safeties on that sweep. It looks like they're going to make yardage, doesn't it? Look like we got the corner and the safety comes up diagonally and makes that play. Now they have a new punt returner in. Uh, 21. 21, yeah, Clemens is in. So they've they've got the number twos in now. Clemens back at his own 37-yard line. Good snap. Reese Bay, not nice. a bad punt. Takes a Bearcat hop, let it roll, gentlemen, from the 35 down to the 32-yard line. And once again, Coach, all right, fourth game of the season. Tough non-league schedule, and, and you know we're in a 55 to nothing game right now, so it makes it difficult for us as well. We're trying to keep it positive, and, and what you're going to come away, but obviously we're a mile away from this team. And and if you look at the Division One, I'm just curious. You got maybe three or four teams, and there's a huge separation, huge, 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 huge gap between. Because talk about that a little bit. Clovis here. North, Buchanan, and these guys, and the, everybody else. Yep. Again, Bakersfield, maybe. Coach, it looks like they got a new quarterback in there finally. It's McDivitt. Yeah, number 10. Stephen McDivitt, a 5'10", 165-pound senior. Hand off, they've got four yards, second and six. So what are the top four? You obviously, Buchanan and the Grizzlies. and then Clovis North. Clovis North. And Bakersfield. And Bakersfield. Sanger is no slouch either. No, no. I'd put them, but maybe number five. Hand off. Bearcats do a good job of tackling this time. Gain of a yard on the play. It'll be third down and four from the 37-yard line. So that, I mean, it, you could just, we've seen it so far. And even some of those schools in Division II are, are strong. You know, Frontier was no pushover. They just came out, they came out sluggish, you know. So we've got, you know, next week, Pioneer Valley, which is a winnable game. And then you get Sanger, so it doesn't get any. Every game no. this year is going to be tough. And, and you know, Pioneer Valley is winning big tonight. So, you know, even though it's against Cabrillo, they're going to have a lot of confidence. One-yard gain will be pulled and, down. And the game is at Pioneer Valley. So it'd be interesting to see if they punt here. Fluid screen printing and scoreboard update. AG up 14-3 to three after three quarters over Lompoc. Wow. They're I going for it, Coach. Surprised. They're Fourth going and for it. four, and they're going. For, well, maybe not. Now they're looking over here at the coach. Going to let the clock run and try to end the corner. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. 55 nothing. Grizzlies. Five seconds, four, four. seconds, and they get a penalty. 
Did they take a timeout? No, delay a game. And now they'll come out and punt with four seconds left here in the third quarter. So, I mean, it's all it, it's stuff we're going to talk about in the fourth quarter, the rest of the season and building and trying to prove, you know, what, what are you going to get out of this game when you're going into Pioneer Valley? Then you, then you got Singer. Then the league doesn't get any easier no. because Rigetti, St. Joe, and Arroyo Grande all good this year. So here comes the punt. Rugby style. Yeah. Bouncing. And that bounce. And that's going to end the third quarter as the ball rolls all the way down to the nine-yard line. That looked like a Tim Stewart golf shot. <laughs> Good shot, Tim. That's the end of the third, 55 nothing. Bearcats down back after this on the BOP Sports Network. Are you tired of renting your home but think buying is impossible in today's market? What if you could get into your own home with a conventional loan with just 3% down? Impossible? Maybe not. When you contact Vision Mortgage and Chris Bonima, find out about the dollars and cents of real-world home financing. Check into the wide range of loan options. Discover the possibilities for owning your own home. Tired of renting? Think buying a home is impossible? Maybe it's time for you to get a new Vision. Vision Mortgage, where you may find that owning your own home is the possible dream. Contact them today. Vision Mortgage, 805-975-8584. That's Vision Mortgage, 805-975-8584. What if you could get into your own home with a conventional loan with just 3% down? Impossible? Maybe not. Tired of renting? Make the call. Get the vision. Vision Mortgage. You know what we haven't got tonight, John, is an Atascadero score. Just got one for you. Oh, well, well. At the half, Frontier 14, Greyhounds 12. Whoa. Cascadero hanging in there. St. Joseph tied with Bakersfield Christian 17 all second quarter. Surprising. Pass off, complete a gain of six for the Bearcats. Got a penalty. Flag comes down. And Perhaps down. it's illegal receiver downfield because it's thrown by the umpire. And... There's a conference. And when you're a coach, you don't like, oh, they're going to wave it off. You, you just don't like to see conferences when you're a coach. You don't like seeing them as a student either, Coach. <laughs> Good one, John. Okay, we got second and three. Shotgun, snap, zone, loss of five. Yep, right Garcia. Down. Coach, we got a comment. They said maybe central coaches feel they need to keep their kids prepared and into the season. This is a real game, kind of like the pros in the third quarter, third game of preseason. Have starters play three quarters. No. No. You don't put your quarterback at risk like that. Not in a it no, it nothing, no way. All right. Third down. Eight for the Bearcats. 10-34 remaining in the game. Under pressure. Waterman running for his life, looking downfield, throws. And broken up. Broken up out of bounds. Bearcats will have to punt. And the clock will continue to run. Well, there you go. That was a quick question. <laughs> that was a good half. You're going to see coaches. Tom, Tom Brady going to be playing in the third quarter, 48 yeah. to nothing? No. And this kid, this kid's a high school Tom Brady. Let's call it like it is. Somebody also sent in and said, did you know your superintendent once was, once was our superintendent? Yes, and thank you. We are aware of that, and we thanks for the comments. You know, <clears throat> they've also, he's out, but he's also the punter, so they put him in as a punter. So he's still got a shot at being, getting hurt. All right, Bay takes the punt from his own end zone. And Ooh, off ball. the side of his foot. This is going to be Look a five-yard punt. And a souvenir for the crap. Okay, he punted the ball from the nine, and it spotted, uh, oh, it's a 10-yard punt at the 19. All right. Coach, that's one of your pet peeves right there. I know you don't like that. So uh, they're going to put it down at the 19-yard line of the Bearcats. First down and 10. Continuous clock. 55-0 Grizzlies on top. 
We still got a lot of number one linemen in there. Yeah, I see 75 big, in there. Big number 74. And six is in at tailback, and he is the starting inside linebacker. Pass incomplete, second down and 10. That was just plain dropped. <laughs> you couldn't have walked out there. 64 and 74, you talked about that. 340 pounds, 64, 240 pounds. And 75 is 270. Wow. And you're right. This is a team. That, you know, definitely going to compete for a central section division one championship, but also a state title. Right. Uh, here's six right up the pipe, breaking tackles. Getting down near the first down. And, and still going, and still going. Blow the whistle, down. please. And yeah, they're going to mark him down at the eight-yard line. Gain of 12, Jim. Yeah. Jacob Jones, the running back for central. Down to eight minutes ago, 55 nothing. Centennial knocking on the door, trying to expand on her lead. Central. Central, Jim. Central. Central. Sorry, I did that. My yeah. mistake. You just got dosed by coach. <laughs> That's all right. Zone read, quarterback keep. You get in? Nope. Nope. Second and goal at the five. Now, the tough thing is the Bearcats have got to keep pretty much their number one guys in there. Arroyo Grandy now, Fluid Screen Pinion Scoreboard Update, up 17 to three. Six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Straight ahead, down to the two, looks like, Jim. Yep, fourth and goal. And they look over to the bench, the coach calls the yep, play. Down to seven minutes ago. Uh, much slower with the second unit. The first unit, the quarterback was running the show. Actually, third down and goal. Hand off, right up the gut, touchdown. And he walks in. Now, there, there's some, you know, what we've been talking about here. We're getting a lot of comments, Coach, about, you know, oh, Central should be playing hard. We're not saying that we don't want them to play hard. We're just saying a simple fact that keeping your starters in when you got such a big lead, especially at the high school level, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, you're up 61 to nothing now. Absolutely correct. That's all we're saying. Snap down, kick up, and it made it through. 6.44 to go. 62 to nothing, Central on top. Back after this on the BOP Sports Network. Good morning, fellow Americans, and welcome to Joe's Place in Templeton and Paso Robles and Joe's One Niner Diner at the Paso Robles Airport, home of old-style comfort food like biscuits and gravy, huge omelets, scrumptious sandwiches, old-fashioned potato salad, and tons of attitude. Come early, bring your appetite. Joe's Place and the One Niner Diner are the favorite first stops for locals and visitors alike. Breakfast and lunch, there's nothing like Joe's Place and the One Niner Diner to satisfy your gorilla size appetite. Hey, what a great idea. They put a gorilla on the sign so you don't even have to look for the address. But here's where you'll find it. Joe's Place, 730 South Main Street, Templeton, 805 Spring Street in Pass Robles, and of course the One Niner Diner at the Pass Robles Airport. Great food, lots of attitude, and a gorilla on the sign. You'll only find that at Joe's Place and the One Niner Diner in Templeton and Paso Robles. All right, 64 to nothing now. Grizzlies on top of the Bearcats. We're going to get the ball back on offense. Let's get something positive done, Coach. Move the ball. Move the ball. Move the chains. Kick on its way. Maldonado. Nope, it's going to be Magnolia at the 20. Magdalena. Magda gets around the corner at the 30 and dropped it to 32. Go ahead, Coach. Yeah, we'll just move it here from the 32 and just try to move the ball. Just get the ball, be positive, try to get a score. It's all about take something positive out of it. it looks like they have their third team in now. A lot of very clean jersey. Whoop. But here comes their first string safety right back out onto the field. Perez, Gonzalez. Perez will be the running back. Waterman working out of the gun. Perez to his 
left, two receivers each sideline for the Bearcats. Waterman, back to pass, plenty of time, throwing deep down field. A little bit of contact there, no flag. You want a gallon, and it's incomplete. Second out of 10. Hey, congratulations once again to the freshman team. Good uh, win. Got a win. JV team lost 33-14, but they were down 33-9 and a half and really had a great second half. They did. Waterman with Perez to his left out of the gun. Pass off, complete the bottom. Bottom doing a nice job of running after catching the football. Picked up an extra three or four yards, and well, he gained five there. It'll be third and five. Okay, what you want to do here is get the first down and keep this drive going and end the game on a positive note. Third down and five, 4.50 to go. Continuous running clock. High Close snap down. over the head of Waterman. Waterman picks it up. Now he's going to run for Turn his life. Turn and throw it. Throws it, finds Wiesner. Wiesner at the 25. Oh! clock. 35, close to the first that's, down. That's a penalty. Clock. That's a penalty. You can't, you know, as if you're watching this game, as much as I love that block and that, that's American football right there, but that is now illegal. That's a blindside block. There was no head-to-head -head contact. Hit him through the shoulders, but it's a, a defenseless player. And I understand they are trying to protect the players. But it's hard for me right there. What do you tell the guy? Yeah, go, yeah. go push him with your hands. I mean, it, well, is, it is a collision sport, gentlemen. And, and I understand we're trying to protect the players. There was not a head-to-head -head situation there. And, uh, and the Bearcats aren't quit playing either, you know. That, yeah. that was just aggressive, trying right. to make something happen. And you know, Coach Reynolds coming out to talk about it. 20 years ago, when I was coaching, a guy would have gotten a big sticker on his helmet for doing that. That would have been great. You know, you'd pat him on the back, and now it's a 15-yard penalty. John was the same times way. Change. Johnny was the same way for you back when you played? Yeah, if I'd have done that with Coach Welsh. I'd have gotten an attaboy and uh, wouldn't have had to run on Saturday. All right, third down and, what, 25? Waterman, back to his nine. Screen. Empty backfield, sets it up. Oh. And, ooh, Maldonado, Maldonado took a huge hit at the 50. Yeah, from Jimmy Kissling, who is their second string nose guard at 6 feet, 220 pounds. But well coached, he read screen, retraced his steps, and ran right into the man that was catching the screen. Coach, that's how he had the interception in the first half. Yeah, it's it, that's coaching. That that is not an accident that that happens. Coach, you got a comment here from Slow Man. You want to take a look at that real quick? And I think he's trying to remember what happened a few years back. Two fifty to go. Continuous clock. Yeah. You want to comment? Yeah, Ryan Mole breaking his collarbone with a big lead. Yeah. Bay, this time and, got and that, a nice that, punt. that was the season for Rigetti when that happened. Yeah, that was a quality kid. And that's that's the kind of thing we're talking about right there. You All don't right, ball down at the 49. Uh, clock will continue to run, 2.30 to go. And this, I, I this, would think here, run, this should be it. run, take a knee. Coach, let's look ahead now. So next week, Pioneer Valley. Yeah, and you got to tell them this is a winnable game. Put this behind you. This is over. we got to focus on Pioneer Valley. Pioneer Valley is coming in 1-3, I believe, is their record with a win tonight against uh, Cabrillo. That this is a winnable game, and let's get one under our belt and then go on, beat Sanger, and go into the league with momentum is the way you want to approach this. Handoff. Quarterback, oh, quarterback keep. Quarterback keeper. Good on a keeper. He got past. The 45 of the Bearcats down to 42, gain of eight, second and two. 147 to go. So, Coach, you know, we're going to get some players back next week. Some of these injury, injured players back in. You know, we got Brumley back this week, and he played a little safety and quarterback. Barnhart expected to come back next week and play a little defense. That'll help out on the defense side of the football. The more players you got, the better you're going to be. That's it. Straight zone. Another handoff after the first down run to the 35, 120 to go. Gain of seven on that play. Yep. Down to the 36. Another scoreboard update to you from Fluid Screen Printing. 
Arroyo Grandy with four minutes to go now leads Lompoc. You ready for this? 24 to 3. Okay, Arroyo Grandy becomes the team to beat in the league. Handoff, gain of a three on the play, second and seven. 50 seconds to go. So, Coach, as we dwindle down here, uh, going to ask you your thoughts on outstanding first quarter, but after that, you know, that the roof, second the roof quarter, caved the in. The roof caved in in that second quarter. Nice running up the middle that time by Heyman, and he picks up the first down and 20 seconds. That should be the last play of the game. That should be the last play of the game. They're coming off the field. So That's as, it. That, as that clock dwindles down and the Bearcats are going to lose this one 62 to nothing to Centennial so you know let's talk a little bit about it, it was a, a good first quarter strong and uh, 7 nothing and then boy boom well it was all the things that we talked about you know you ask keys to victory okay first thing you can't turn the ball over we turned the ball over big time and that resulted in scores that changed the game I mean you went from 14 to nothing to 28 to nothing to 35 to nothing within a four minute span. I mean, that was just, that was an offensive blitz. I've never seen or heard of a team scoring 41 points in a quarter. Last time I remember hearing a team scoring 35 was in the Super Bowl when the Redskins did it against the Broncos. Yeah. Yeah, bet. Johnny, you got something down there? I've uh, just, you know, a game that we kind of expected, maybe not as bad, but we did expect uh, a central victory tonight. Uh, key for me, I didn't see very many Bearcats come off the field injured tonight. That's a positive. Well, we you know, we'll, we'll take that as, as a, you know, something to hang we, our hat on. We had, we had ten kids not suit. Tonight. Yes, but so, you're gonna. But uh, did get word, and I know, Coach. I heard you talking about it uh, at the third quarter. Uh, Mr. Barnhart will be eligible starting tomorrow and we'll be playing next week. Well, good, another body back there another to help body. out. If Need him. So, all right, now guys, let's look like let's look down the road. One game at a time, concentrate like you said on Pioneer Valley, and then, you know, you got Sanger and then league starts, and I tell you what, it is gonna be a competitive mountain league this year. Very much so, but I, I, I'm seeing a Royal Grandy starting to pull away from the crew here. If St. Joe gets upset tonight, you, you got to look at a Royal Grandy as as the premier team in the league at, at this point in time. 20 to 3, a Royal Grandy coach, fourth quarter. St. Joe is tied at the half, 24 all with Bakersfield Christian. Uh, I'm shocked at that. Centennial yeah. leads 14 7 at the half over Rigetti. Wow. Jim? Yes. I'm down here. Hi, Tim. You know, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of athletes down here on the sidelines over the years and stuff. And I'm thinking this kid, this quarterback, might be the one of the best that I've seen as far as just pure athleticism. And he, he's got size, and uh, those throws he were making were darts. And those guys were running as hard as they could do it, and he was hitting them on stride every time. It was just, he's, uh, my hat's off to that kid's a heck of an athlete. You know, Tim, you and I talked about this before the game that, He's very comparable to the young man from Thousand Oaks uh, three or four years ago that led Thousand Oaks to the CIF finals and that uh, ran all over Rigetti down there. And if you remember, he was the fastest guy on the field, and this kid was right there. I agree right there. with you 100%. Yeah, yeah. He's 6 feet, 200 pounds. And, he, and you're, you get next to him, and he is an athletic kid. I mean, yeah. he's an athlete. Tompkins, not yeah, he can run, he can throw the ball, go into the opposite side, the other way, and, and he puts, you know, some guys. He had the one pick, but, you know, the wind kind of knocked. He threw that one into the wind. But other than that, uh, just a, a dominant performance, at least for three quarters. You know, some, something that the Bearcats are going to need to work on again, and I thought that we had it kind of taken care of as the snaps. We had a heck of a lot of overhead uh High snaps that just kind of threw our timing off on a lot of our plays. All right, let's go around the table real quick before we get out of here. I know Coach wants to go have dinner. Uh, Timmy, final thoughts? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty hard to uh, – they're just big and strong and fast and one of the best teams we've seen maybe ever. I mean, they, were, they remind 
of the Colton team that we played uh, at Lee, uh, from from a while back, and it's one of the better teams we played. And hold your hats up. I think, like you guys said, we got to take some positives out of. And I kind of had some positives out of this game. There were a few things, but but uh, we just got to buckle down. We played some awfully good teams in this preseason so far, and I think we we don't. I don't know that how, if we know how good we really are. If, all right, John. Uh, your positives, I thought Marshall Wiesner had a great game uh, over the middle catching passes and uh, being the long snapper on the uh, punt team. I thought Marshall had a very good game. Um, Got to clean it up on the back end. You know, safety's playing too far apart. You know, to me, um, there's lots of things to work on in practice, you know, starting next week. To get yourself ready for league, and, uh, you know, it's a short three weeks away, boys. Coach? Well, the question you got to ask yourselves is what, what kind of season do you want to have now? You know, the, you get, you got to toss this one, and you got to look ahead, and you just, you've got to get rid of this. And, and next week is critical, I think, from a uh, emotional standpoint, if nothing else. You've got to get a win so you get some confidence. And 